Ready? Ready. Just <laughs> We're ready! Yippee! Greetings everyone, Chikojin here with a very special guest, the one, the only, Madam Sir Brella user Umami Ruins Brella user. How you doing? <laughs> Hello, I'm Floda, and today I'm teaching a noob how to play Brella. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> no. me? I'm not just a noob, I'm a I jack know. of no trades. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there we go. See, there, well, now we got both of our chats up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, We're playing... Be slow in your chat, you're so mean. <laughs> I was teasing. I was teasing. You're so <laughs> yeah, you admitted yourself that you were slow, okay? I know. You know the age-old joke that we did at Insane all those eons ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we were playing turf today. Um, I normally don't play turf, so this is like once in a lifetime opportunity where Floda is playing turf, but it's because we're playing with Jack and Yippee! Jack, Jack has good turf four and fives. Heck um, yeah. So uh what we do, I guess for the fellas who are new who are confused, 
who are the Moais, um, we usually drop into a turf war, which I'll let Flo to do the, the honors of that, of just like starting a turf war, where we drop in, and then we're basically going to conquer a turf war lobby. We're going to be, it's going to be like, ideally me, Floda, and six of you viewer fellas, and then we're just going to hang out, play two games of turf war together, and then we're going to back out and start a new drop in. That way we're uh, constantly shuffling and allowing different opportunities for new people to join us. And yeah, we're just going to hang out, have some fun, maybe grind some freshness on weapons you haven't done that before on, which is what I'm doing. I don't I don't play Brella, so yeah. <laughs> Flo is going to teach me. <laughs> yeah, um, but before we go into lobby, I do want to teach you stuff because... Ooh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm also, this is my excuse to eat some of my dinner here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> major staller alert. Um, but yeah, uh, for those that don't know how to play Brella, I have been playing Brella for five years. Um, I don't know why this weapon makes me depressed, but <laughs> if you want to be depressed just like me, you should play it. So, um, the first thing to start with Brella is obviously, like, get some practice in the lobby and you should do this with all your weapons that you play but before you start doing a session of turf war or whatever play around um and play around with your weapon um know how the reticle works uh the umbrella reticle is quite large because of the shot uh, spread if you've played side order you yeah. might be the one lucky one to get the shot spread reduction chip which is really good but um we live in a sad reality, so that doesn't exist, but... <laughs> we um, live in a society. <laughs> we do. Um, so, just quick things. Obviously, 81 is your max damage. 16.2 uh, is your, like, kind of minimum damage without fall-off. That doesn't combine with 81. So, if you get 16.2 damage on someone, you guaranteed three shot or more. Mm -hmm. I love this weapon. That, yeah, um, I saw that 16.2 there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea is obviously the middle. Just look at the, the kind of the, the crosshair in the middle is really the only thing that you want to be locked on with, right? Like, right. obviously, all the pellets will be within that little box, but just look at the center like you would with any other weapon like the shooter. Um, and also have gear abilities. Um, gear abilities are kind of a requirement umbrella. Um... You really, if you, you you have to have gear abilities, or this weapon feels so bad to play. Um, uh, you don't have to have which the most ability? Thing. Um, but if you're looking on my stream, and also say hello to the chat after this, by the way. I'm not ignoring you. Guys, yeah. but, um, so what I normally wear, at least for my main abilities, right? You can get the main abilities down. You don't need the sub abilities or whatever. Um, usually I play one main special charge up. Um, one main of swim speed and one main of run speed. That's for my hat, uh, shirt, and shoes, respectively. Um, and, you know, you can be customizable with it, but Brella's main gear abilities are those three gear abilities. Um, and also Ink Saver main. Uh, you really only need, if you're starting off, like three subs of Ink Saver main. Um, you can go lower if you know how to manage your ink, but Nutella... Uh, Nutella... Nutella. Rella yeah. well, uh, is notorious. <laughs> I'm mixing up the, the, the words. Rella well, is notorious for being ink hungry and ink guzzler. So, um, gotcha. it's when you unfold your shield, that depletes your ink tank um, faster than your mom's 1940 Ford Model T or whatever. So, you know. Gotcha. Um, but, yeah, those are the main gear abilities that you want. Chat, don't make fun of me. <laughs> 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 But yeah, you want swim speed, you want run speed, you want special charge. Um, I like to go with a little more run speed than swim speed because you want to strafe with your Brella. And what I mean by that is when you're in the lobby, you like to go side to side while shooting. Um, and the reason why is it's just obviously extra mobility. People can't hit you as much and plus your shield is going to pop out. Um, so obviously get some time to... You can tell the difference without run speed from going side to side while shooting at something, right? Right. Compared to something else, because run speed is really good. Um, I'm so just yeah. slapping that run speed and some main saver on my shoes right now for this. Mm -hmm. um... 
and yeah. um yeah you can definitely tell a difference it also kind of helps you get consistent with shots right like you don't really need to land exactly in the middle it's a lot more consistent i feel than just standing still so if you're standing still it's a gambling machine uh, a yeah, gambling sure. thing that the house will always went on um so um yeah also my mic is beeping again i should stop <laughs> yeah i i noticed a difference already just like of the like being able to like kind of shimmy left to right yes um and you know it, it it just it just helps your gameplay um a lot more um another thing that i do want to say is you could also test out with the bot here as well the little bot in the lobby so you can all right um open that up and then okay it's kind of obviously it's kind of standing still and stuff but getting used to like how a splatter shot would destroy your shield right right really important and obviously i can't really tell you how to use your shield because that's more of a you kind of have to know all your weapon matchups but we're here to vibe so it really doesn't matter but all you need to know is you don't want to be flaring your shield you don't want to be spamming the zr button and flaring your shield it doesn't work because latency in a perfect world it would work you would yeah but do don't we love nintendo's you know peer-to-peer -peer connection system mm -hmm. you know it's so yeah. good <laughs> So usually I, but the thing about Brella, this Brella is, unlike the other Brellas, which either have your shield out all the time or it's mostly for deploying, this Brella is what I like about it. You can shield whenever you want, you can shield for however long you want, because this thing doesn't deploy as fast. You don't want to use this Brella as a, uh, as a, uh, you don't want to deploy the shield on this Brella. Right. Um, Unless you're like pushing the Rainmaker or pushing a clam ball or some other niche scenario. But in Turf War, don't even try. Don't even try. Right, um, gotcha. You just want to make sure that you fight people one on one. 2v1s, you can't really win. So try not to feed with this weapon. Let people come to you or try and get them, you know, get sneaky with it, you know? Like jump them by surprise. You always want to get the first uh, shot. Got it. Right? Okay. Um, and yeah, be inconsistent with your shield. Hold it out for a little bit at some time and then shoot again and then maybe hold it out for a little longer. So, um, being tricky with your shield, right? Like, you can flare it once and then you'd be like, ooh, I'm stalling for a little bit, ooh, you know. Right. Yeah, that way you always, like, you can't have your enemy, like, read you then. So you can... Exactly. Gotcha. Uh, Makes sense. So yeah, Makes those, those are kind of the basics. I know that was a little long, but this weapon is a little, like, I feel like everyone should know where run speed, where swim speed, where some special charge up, and especially because Jack, you're playing V Brella. Yeah. You don't know V Brella. It is the worst kit in this whole entire game. I will argue <laughs> that. Like, yeah, I know. This is the <laughs> stupidest thing. If you are wanting to get into Brella, please never use this weapon. Um, <laughs> Sorella's I, right there. <laughs> yeah, Sorella's right there. It's way better. But I mean, if you're playing turf, sprinkler and strike is not really that terrible. But literally in every other game mode it is, so just don't, don't. Yeah, don't do so. Um, there you go, fellas. You got the nice insight of uh, Brella 101 from Professor Flo. Yeah, yeah. So. And also, you don't have to use the Brella this stream, but we would like you to. Wink, yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hey, it's, if you don't have it, like, one-starred or two-starred or three-starred, you can get yeah. some, like, you know, Sheldon licenses or stickers. Or even if you are a veteran Brella player and want to try to get your, like, four star slowly grind your way to five star there you go I'm this is a golden opportunity order, heck yeah let's go also yeah for those wondering i have five star both of the brellas and i'm going to Yippee! five star the older one and never let's go it again. <laughs> anyway i'm gonna get into a lobby all right and get ready to drop in folks remember we're in a pool called flow jack um mm -hmm. and then you can join in through the nice, fancy, dancy little envelope. You'll see a uh, jo little joinable thing uh, with drop-ins available. So, yeah. Get ready for that, then. Yeah. Also, hello, chats, by the way. Hello, Hunter. Hello, Musa. Hello, Bats. Hello, Sylvian. Hello, Lucky. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, PS5. <laughs> hello, x <-Men. laughs> Also, Splat Ninja. Um, and Crispy and Mr. Squiff and everyone else in Jack's channel. Welcome on in. Um, yeah, greetings, fellas. Hopefully, you're ready for just a chill yeah. vibe here. Also, for those wondering why I didn't create a room, 
because if you create a room in turf, you can only have those people join, right? Right, and then they're automatically on your team. Uh, what's nice about the drop-in system is whoever joins, it's like random on what team you're on. You could be fighting with us, we could be fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. It adds a nice little extra little element to it that's I personally enjoy. I wish there yeah. was a way where you could do that, but that's just called PB, so... <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I don't like how anyone can just, you know, do the thing with the PB. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah. Um, yeah, and also, uh, these maps are really good. Um, you know, there is a you know certain map in rotation right now that I, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Ooh, Bobby! Jack, <laughs> Jack planned it totally for me. Oh, totally. Um, like, I totally, like, you know, like, called Nintendo was like, hey, what maps are you going to have in rotation like a week from now? And they told me, oh yeah, we're gonna have Umami. So I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta play a collab with Flo. Yep. So yeah, all you gotta do is drop in via the pool. Um, for those on my end, it is a little different. Instead of Moai at the end of Flo, it's Jack. So um, yeah. make sure to change your pool. I'm, uh, I've purposely gone offline for my friends so people um, join through the pool. Um, Just waiting for that little thingy mabop to show up. Then, yeah. -ha -ha. But yeah, hopefully yeah, everyone's a good ebb and flow. More, I only know Jack and flow. Heck yeah, crispy. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we hanging out. So we are doing awesome things. You know, I wish when you joined in the lobby, you would actually see like spectate. That would be awesome. Right. I never understood why. They never yeah, I should... allowed you to spectate. Like in Smash Bros, there's a whole spectating thing where you can spec matches and like bet coins or whatever on it. I right. would love that in Splatoon, please. That'd be so cool. That'd be awesome. I would love it. Did you drop into a match flow? It's not showing up. I are you not in the pool? I'm in oh wait, did you do F L O Jack or F L O W? FLO. Oh, I'm stupid then. Oh. Well, uh, it's fine. I got this. Don't worry, fellas. That's a Jack's stupid moment. Don't mind me. I thought, I, I, I thought we were shortening my name, not. I like thought that. it was like the like your OC flow F L O W. Oh no no no. Well, uh, uh, that's that's on me, fellas. <laughs> that's on on me. Oh um, my god, I feel so bad now. All my viewers are gonna get in. That's <laughs> nah, fine. I'll no. figure it out. I may I'll be stupid, but that's okay. Star. I'm I have six hundred and ten thousand uh freshness on Order Umbrella. I'm more than halfway. Literally before um the fresh season I got to four star and then I almost I was a third away to five star, but because I I've been playing a lot of Salmon Run and a lot of Snipe Rider and X Rank with Sorella. I. Mm, yeah, this is a. Progress is very slow. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, my chat was. Wait, can't you just join Flow through, like, Francis is like, no, you missed it. Flow turned off that. So. Yeah. Um, is anyone jo from your chat I'm friended with so I can join? <laughs> because I don't, I, I think once you do a drop and if I join in the pool late, it doesn't show up. I've noticed that. Um, do you hop out the lobby and then rejoin the lobby? Because that uh, refreshes it. Wait, if I like leave the entire lobby? You leave the building. Okay, let me leave the building and re-enter the building. Cookies on my team. Let's Pookie! Go. We love They're Pookies! Fighting literally viewers right now. This is flotophobic. <laughs> but we're on Umami, so I give it a pass. We're halfway there. Hashtag workaholic, yes. I am a workaholic. As per my April Fool's stream last night. Which you guys should watch. Self-promo. Heck yeah. You should, you know, I should all... The whole time and I'm still really pissed. Hello, Pugazi. Hopefully you're doing well. 
Um, I left the I've left the building and re-entered said building, and a thingy's still not showing. F L O Jack, right? <laughs> what if I didn't join the right one? You know what? That would be. Really, some troubles here. People were able to join me though. I may be stupid. It's fine. This is a fantastic start. Welcome, dude. Jack has zero IQ, ladies and gentlemen, on binaries and fluids. It wouldn't work for um, Star on my chat either. I guess. Yeah. Um... Okay. Well, I'll join. In. I'll make sure it's it is the right pool. All right. We'll see. Either way, it's fine. It's just little hiccups, you know. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Jacojin S or at least half a Jacojin stream without some, you know, <laughs> unpolished thing. Does Umami equal free pass? Yes, unless it's Umami Tower, and then I cry. I actually, well, Umami Tower on extra high jump is super fun. Oh, that yeah, was, that's fun. That just, was um, so normally, fun. Normally, it is not very. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping this Ner map gets a rework, which by the way, uh I have had this theory and I feel like I've shared it with you, Jack, before on a stream a long while ago. Yeah. But I have like this theory about challenges, and it's been right twice. Where after a rework happens, usually the challenge after the rework features the reworked map. Right. And it's happened with Maki with the Reef Slider Challenge, and it's happened with Mincemeat with the obvious Charger Challenge. Mm-hmm. And we got the uh, new challenge rotation just a couple hours ago, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, I can't strengthen Arrow Spray. Oh, my God, I failed. Okay, well, this is <laughs> yeah. um, The Swim It to Win It Challenge is being rerun. Right. Um, and it's happening right on the... Uh, on the 22nd which is not on the weekend which means R the weekend before is the splat fest Ooh. probably because they normally don't put challenges then so it's going to be the week of the it starts april 18th probably that's my guess because worlds right. is the 13th they would never have a splat fest then yeah it's not Wait, worlds is on the 13th hold on i gotta just make sure i know that mm -hmm. okay it's on saturday the 13th okay yeah Flojack Horseman? Oh my god, Splinter. <laughs> Flojack Horseman? It's Flojack. Yippee. Pool won't right. work? Okay, everyone is saying the pool's not working. Hold on. Yeah, we're doing some sillies here. Yeah. But anyway, back to my theory. Uh, Umami and Hammerhead are in the Swim It to Win It challenge. So one of those is getting reworked. Fest. That's what I'm thinking. Well, the, or both the of them is... would be... Yeah, but the catch is, it's a rerun challenge. It isn't a new one. Right. Because they never, re they introduced the Reslider and the Charger challenge during that rotation. So either this those maps aren't getting reworked, Sag, because it is, uh, or there's going to be a challenge directly after the Swim It to Win It challenge that they're hiding from us. Ah, uh, um, okay. That's a new one. So we'll just have to see after April 12th, which is 5 million years away. Yeah, which, oh my gosh. The curly challenge, right. I love that. All right, um... All right, let me see if I'm in the right pool. Yeah. F-L-O-J-A-C-K. Yeah, that's what I have. Why wasn't that's that... what I have. What? Okay, um... Is it I if I try to do the drop-in? You, you, you join through me? All right. See if y'all can join. I'm gonna drop it in now. Let's give this a whirl. Silly Splatoon, am I right? Um, uh, but yeah, I would really both of those maps could use reworks, I think. Umami and well, definitely hammer. I <laughs> I personally think hammer Hammerhead Splatoon 3 is the worst map in the entire series right now. <laughs> but that's just me. Um I think it's way too wide open. I think it's just no man's land in the middle. I, I don't like it. There's no oh, see ya, Bianca. That's my issue. 
Oh yeah, that's that. that that's, that's a whole like, there's a lot of maps that have that problem. Like, oh yeah, we love getting locked out of the map and not being able to do anything. It's so great. Personally, Adam, I feel like Hammerhead's just destined to be bad. I don't, I don't know if a rework could actually save it or not. I hope it can. I hope so too, but I'm a Debbie Downer. I think Umami Ruins just needs a good spawn and widening and maybe some extra platforms and it'll be 5 million times better than it is now. Hammerhead right. is a piece of work, so. Right, they need to like put that thing back under construction like they did in Splatoon 1. This label so that is. I'm not in a match master, so you're going to have to be patient. Make sure be you join patient, the pool correctly. Yep. Make sure you join through the pool, fellas. Yeah, we made a pool, uh, Master. Please be patient. Also, it shouldn't be broken. We had some issues earlier because I think some of the viewers weren't in the correct pool. Yeah, that so, was kind of uh, my fault. <laughs> yeah. I had to F-L-O-W instead of F-L-O. So that was just my B. I was, I was like, oh, it's going to be flow like your OC. Like... Not shortened Floda. Me and my, you know. See, that's the thing why Jack always wears a beanie is because his brain's so small it might fall out of his skull. So he needs to wear a beanie so it doesn't fall out. Brine water. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I can see him reworking brine water. Yeah, I hope so. But, um, I, I really, I don't think brine water. I think brine water. I feel like it feels the most complete. Like, I feel like some maps you can tell, like, ooh, this is a little rough to play on, like, Umami and Barnacle and Eel Tail. Right. I feel like brine water, like, even though it's, like, really bad, it, it feels, everything feels complete. I don't know why that feeling is. Like, obviously, I, it's bad. Like, it's not, like, the best map, but. Yeah, it's not a good design map, but the design feels complete. I definitely understand the vibe. It feels that way. Like, Barnacle, like, it feels like they took a chunk out of left side. Nom, nom, nom. Oop, I ate your, I ate your map. Um, but Brian Water just, everything feels very intentional and very intentionally placed. So, prove me wrong, honestly. Prove me wrong. Yeah, I like, I... I think I agree with you with that. The vibe feels like it's good, but it's just not fully there. I don't know. It's like, it's like design wise, it's complete, but like playability just isn't there. Oh. <laughs> Even though I'm like the biggest Brine Water Zones fan, um, uh, I know really? that every other mode kind of stinks garbage on it. So. I'm not a I'm I'm not a fan of Brine Water Zones personally, but like fair, I can see the appeal. Yeah. Oh, Barnacle, you can just get zoned out of easily, too. Yeah, big shot. I agree with that. Yeah. I have my tip. reasons why I like Rainwater. Just, yeah, Barnacle. Oh. Bar here's here's how you win Barnacle um, in Turf War, by the way. You take control of middle, and you don't, you don't ever let up control of middle. If you maintain control of middle, you just win. I tested that theory during Splatfest. If you take control of middle, and you stay in control, you win. That's just how it is in brine water Literally during the last fest I... oh there we go we took over so this is uh be considered game number one then fellas since it's me Floda, and six of you viewer folks would it be full of all of our viewers though what's up and i'm not seeing anyone else i mean i think that's all a combination oh. of both of our viewers i didn't see them at first it was just me and you oh weird no, yeah, well, NSO, am I right? <laughs> I know, I was like, what? Yeah, it's like, is Jack crazy? What What's he talking about? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Brian Water rework is so hard because what you do with a half a mile spawn drop. Oh, I love this song. This is playing on my... Ugh, so good. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Brian Water... What what ha would happen? Yeah, I feel like it's just it's like I don't know. It's like it's also, still like four uh, eight hours, and how do you rework that? Right. And that's right. Mid. Well, that's probably the only thing they would rework is mid. So they get oh. that in between that one and two. 
Did you see? I don't know if you saw this when it um someone's making uh, like silly little maps on Twitter, and someone made a tricolor uh, moray towers map. Wait, I've never seen this. Yeah, there was um I need to find it and share it with you, but someone made like a concept for moray towers, but it's a tricolor map. It just adds like a whole another like giant staircase, so it's like three staircases coming together in like a, a circle mid. <laughs> I need That's to find. Cool. Yeah, it is kind of, it's cool looking, but it's like, I don't know how practical that would be. I think it would be not very great, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm getting zoned out. Yippee. Hi, <laughs> Flo. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tri Slosher is not your friend with this weapon. Yeah, I'm noticing that very quickly. <laughs> When you play Brawl, you'll know which weapons you can face well against and ones where you're going to have to be a little more gimmicky. Um, sloshers, like try sloshers specifically, very challenging to go against, but if you're facing against a good slosher player, right? You're going to get faced out. But if you're facing against shooters and duelies, this weapon's good for you. I mean, it's the most abundant class. Right. Um, and I you flow. Know, the fact that you oh, I'm getting double teamed. I'm so dead. <laughs> Dang it, I want to 1v1 you and you had your friend to show up. Uh, dang it. Oh, the song that's playing uh, Buggy is a remix of Kalmar Incantation mixed with Ninja Hideaway from Mario Kart 8. Why do you have an X out screen? Because you are not allowed to use screen. Yeah. Uh, there's an indicator on my screen. Um, and I made it a little while ago and I just suddenly added it. And the reason why is a lot of people, I didn't really have a stance, I guess, because back then it was only two screen weapons. So like, right. it wasn't really that big of a deal. Like I would just tell people to maybe not like be super oppressive with it or whatever, but obviously with Quinza and 52 Gal being more accessible and stuff, um, I've decided it's probably best to alert when and when not screen is allowed. And most ah. of the time it isn't allowed, but on my PB streams, sometimes I do say, hey, if you want to play screen weapons, now's the time. Um, just because I know some people want to actually play the weapon to the fullest. Like, people like to play foil flings that stop with the connect unstable. Why is this lobby lagging? I don't know. But... I don't know either, but hi, Snow Jelly and hello, Kick. And yeah, uh, I would appreciate um, kindly if people didn't use uh, screen weapons. Yeah. Uh, because I am one of the people who were affected by it. Not with just like getting hit by one of them, but like I had an instance where, oh, I was playing, you know, I was playing Anarchy Open and I was like, okay, screen doesn't affect me too bad. But then I got bombarded by three of them in one match and it gave me a migraine. <laughs> yeah. I love also, screen, like design wise, but like execution, terrible. Absolutely oh. terrible. 100% agree. Oh, also, yeah, y'all like, bullied me so hard there. I could not... I couldn't even get out of base. Bar I could barely get out of base and paint. That was... Oh, my gosh. You guys sl freaking slaying over there. We can see who's playing weapons they're used to and who is not. But yeah, no screen in this stream. And plus, even if I have screen, like, TVs and stuff, usually it's only for, like, a couple so yeah honestly if i play a screen weapon i've been just like chucking that son of a gun over the side of the um ledge that way still if it's not a water map it usually like still counts as you using the special um if you don't eat into water um that way you can still work on getting the uh if you're somebody who's a badge collector like yours truly yeah. it still counts towards the badge if you win the match um so there you go i don't mind if people use the, the weapons that have screen, just don't use screen itself. Yeah, like, exactly. I know people like to use the flings of a suction bomb. But oh, uh, and undercover like, with the torpedo. I mean, yeah, like undercover torpedo is so nice. Just don't use the actual screen or we're going to have like actual problems. Yeah. I don't know who that Sorella Brella was, but you were not going to kill me there. Oh, also a trick with Brella here. Yeah. That I want to share with everyone. Uh, Inkvac. I know people are going to be like, Boo, Flutter, why are you telling them this? 
Well, there's a little thing with ink back that you can do with this shield. If an ink back is shot at the ground, you can be inside the radius, but as long as you're not like in the direct center of the blast and you're facing like towards the back, right? Right. Um, the, the ink back explosion, um, hold out your shield. It won't, you will not get damaged at all. And your shield Ooh. will break. Yeah. Nice. It, That's actually kind of sick. Uh, it's kind of a feature. I don't know if it's an actual bug, but they've never patched it. So if, if they've, I say if it's fun enough, it's not a bug. If it's a feature. That's my game dev philosophy. If it is, if it is fun enough, it is not a bug. Yeah. Oh, every time I go to fight you, Wolfie just protects you like a guard dog. I swear. It's like I want to 1v1 you. That was powerful numbers, man. People, <laughs> what be one say, the like, flow? Yeah, so with Brella, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just like going in with my teammate, which is strong, very strong. Um, but yeah, that's something you can do. And also with Brella against triple splashdown, uh, you can uh, two indirects will. Uh, what what you like? Uh, I figured out that uh, obviously one direct splashdown will destroy your shield, but you can actually shield yourself against the two indirects if you're far away enough. So, um, got you. Okay. Unlike other umbrellas, the undercover and recycled only protect you from one indirect, and a tent can protect you from all of them. But that's a tent for you. Um. Hey, finally got a kill. I actually am getting kills this game for once, at least. Are you on my team? No, you're not. This is. Horrible. No, we've been fighting each other. Like I said before, I wanted to 1v1 you, and then Wolfie just jump scared me with the tr uh, tr you Double know, tri slush. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it's getting bombarded there. Come on, fellas, paint. Uh, GG's. And yep, yeah, uh, Cake and anyone else, you can join, and we're going to step out here and do a new drop in here. Yeah. Also, yeah, Wolfie, I think I fought you in open earlier today or something. I think I was you. Or you were on my team or something. I recognize you, though. Well, I was playing this team-based game. Also, I that did the killing it. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, that was too. All right. Um, do we stay in, Jack? Or do we... Um, I usually ourselves? just say we back out just so make sure it recycles for sure. Yeah. You know, you can't go wrong with it then. All right, so we'll back out here. Um, we'll just do a brand new son of a gun and actually could you do me a teensy weensy tiny small favor Flota if you have it do you have a shared money up ticket <laughs> if you don't have a ticket active activated let's look <laughs> thank you Flo I'm out of money tickets and oh if I'm on your God, team this guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm doing a you shared level share want a shared exp one i have 99 of all the exp tickets uh, i already have a shared exp running though <laughs> i don't have money <laughs> i only have 11 shared money tickets this is the only one i'm using okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> mm -hmm. all right you gotta start another mm -hmm. drop in here mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you were the blaster Mahi clams. Yeah, I was the I was using um ninety six deco in uh clams earlier just for uh to get my I got my silver kraken badge. Um and Wolfie showed up, I think. I ran into Wolfie. <laughs> Jack leashing off of Floda's hard work and gambling. Uh, look, I mean a fellow's got homie's gotta help homies out, alright? <laughs> oh well I didn't wanna help. <laughs> oh. Not a helper. No, well, hey guys, guess what? I think you're gonna be able to drop in super early here because someone DC at the beginning of the match. So, <laughs> I think. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much. Thank you to DC. the random who DC'd. We appreciate you. So remember, if you played in the last lobby, make sure not to join until the next one. Yeah, make sure you guys sit out a uh, rotation before rejoining. That way, it's fair for fellas because there is, you know, peeps on my end, peeps on Flo's end. Gives that opportunity for peeps. Jack is the third cousin that you only learned existed after you win the lottery! No, no! Oh, no! Uh. <laughs> the Jack slander is crazy in my Come chat on, today. Ninja! Up, you guys. Come Keep on, buddy! Oh, 
Also, I don't think that's a full gang. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That, yeah, we didn't take over a full lobby. There's still one slot available, so... I usually just call this a bonus game, if that's okay with you. Because we don't yeah. have a full um, eight. Yeah. So. Remember, to join in the turf, you cannot physically join in via the turf war with friends option. You have to go to the envelope tab where, uh, uh, in the lobby menu, where you put in your pool code in the first place in order to join. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, if you if it's not appearing in turf war with friends, it's because, yeah, that's it shouldn't be there. It should be in the envelope tab. Yeah, Master, please do not, like, yell, you join through the envelope, like Flo said. I'll turn up Jack a bit. And hello, Zay. Hello. Um, Zay says, hi, sussy flow. <laughs> don't know what makes you sussy, but. How am I sussy, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I thought I was like one of the more sus in, uh, members of Ink Sane. Not... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're referencing um, the Big Shot presentation I had last night. Big Shots are besties. <laughs> no, for those that don't know, I did an April Fool's thing. I don't obviously I didn't fool anyone, but on April Fool's I like to be a little, a little jokester. And, a little silly. Uh, I did a whole presentation, 40 minute presentation, on why big shots are your besties. And um, so it was really fun though. My mic peaked the whole time, and <laughs> people thought it was on purpose, and definitely was not. <laughs> It's just that extra float of charm, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. Some people found out that I did that, like Drippy and yeah. LED. Um, nice. They both watched the stream after I said it on Twitter, and they both said it was hilarious. I'm like, oh, guys. Big shot bestie. Big shots are besties, guys. Make sure to give them kisses. Oh, I mean, make sure you hug them. Okay. Always kiss your uh, big shot homies goodnight. Big shots don't leave you on red. True. True. Man. Big shots are yummy, band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The band hammer. <laughs> I, Chad, do you, I suggested alternative salmonid meals. Like the Quahog fillets, the Drizzler stir fry, the um, the Goldie goulash, and ooh, the Goldie the, goulash uh, sounds actually so good. And then uh, the chum dumps, like the dumb the dumb suckers, but the chums. That sounds like something that would be served the chum bucket. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, leading that when you said band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, Erdes. I know you're here to mod. My bad. Sorry. I think it's just <laughs> funny when you say band when you don't like something. Like from Queso's band. stream, if you don't know who Queso is. Yeah. So funny. I love how he's like, yep, you're banned. Like, I need to say that more in life. That's my motto now. I feel so bad for Ninja. I just like shoved them in a corner with like. Three try strikes. Uh, cracking. Also true, it is Autism Awareness Month. Hell yeah! Happy Autism Awareness, Shout out fellas. Out the autistics out there for being Woo! autistic. Yeah, tisms, my fellow tisms. Yeah. I'm a little, we're quirky, but we're beautiful. All right, so don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Peace, love, <laughs> and good vibes. Did you give Plankton the secret formula for him to make chum dubs? <laughs> no, I don't play so buggy. Yeah, shout out to the, the, autis, the, the, the autistics out there. Heck guys, yeah. Keeping, keeping TBH creatures, keep living. Yippee! And um, punch people who are um, being medium. Heck you yeah. Have the right to do that. Three, four, oh, so one. Now we lobby. got a full lobby. So this will be game one. Last game was a, a silly little bonus because we didn't have a full group of fellas. But now we do. So. That was so silly, true. That's what happened to my Uncle Robert when he ate a big shot. What? 
That's your chance to be a big shot. Listen, Mark was the co-worker that has problems with his wife, okay? Like, I don't know. Like, Mark sits by the egg basket, doesn't do anything, and expects uh, himself to be paid. Like, bro, that's oh, not also, how it works. Hi, buddy, Shroomy. Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> I'm just realizing something at the end of the rotation. <laughs> no, no more umamis. Sedge. I love umami. Um, we love the umami in this household. I will, I will pretend I don't see the 90% turf inked at the end of the best if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> don't see that. I don't see it. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, we're on the same team. Let's go. Took all stream. Or. 45 minutes or however long it took. It only took that long. Oh, I thought I had, um, jetpack. Goodness. Wrong, Brella. Oh, I'm sorry, Lozy Wall. I shouldn't be able to shoot through stamp, yet here we are. <laughs> Hi, Brella player. Do, Hi, Luna do. player that will destroy you. Was that the clam score? Let's go to 87. <laughs> I love that. Oh no, Luna, my poor shield. Okay. Thanks. Don't worry, it's okay. Yeah, a friendship. Friendship. Oh god, oh, auto yeah. bombs. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a stamp that exists. Oh, I thought I had my shield up. Dude, yeah, they need to like protect stamp more from the front like it doesn't need to be completely immune or whatever but like why does rapid fire weapons or like really lucky big bursts of shots just randomly go through i have no like, idea I, just, I don't get it it never was uh, like shots still went through in splatoon 2 just not as much and it was really hard to do and now right. it's just kind of you know shockwaves nice pop but ah uh. You Man, know. I loved that delay. Holy crap. Thank you, Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, so I'm starting to understand the silliness of lag with Brella a little bit playing this. <laughs> just slightly. Just, yeah, just I like a to shield bit. a little earlier than I really need to. Um, yeah, have that to, way. Like, bring on a latency delay. Um, and I have Early bird gets... All the time. Oh no! Because. That's two fellas. That's two fellas. That's two fellas. I can't fight two. Pe <laughs> I can't fight two people. That's not how this weapon works. I mean, technically, you could, but it's really hard. I tried to. I got like seventy damage on the one person, like probably forty on the other, and I couldn't do anything else. At least the paint's good. Oh yeah, the paint on this weapon's marvelous. Especially now that it ha got that ink efficiency buff a long, like a little while ago. It's actually really good. Ah, uh, Ninja. I did not get that. Ninja's good. Yeah, sometimes when it's laggy. Oh, yeah, I was playing Ninja. You were lagging a bit there. Um, sometimes when it's laggy, the shot spread, it feels really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm noticing that a bit, but eh, fine. Hello, why? Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, I can paint more now, which is really nice. I'd be real play if I didn't, didn't have local pizzeria Wi-Fi. Uh, mood, honestly. I mean, I think it's just mostly the fact that it's peer-to-peer -peer is like the biggest problem. Like, I don't know. It just... It really frustrates me. I'm really hoping that um, in the future, you know, Nintendo has enough revenue. They can, like, make dedicated servers. Because, like, we're essentially playing on a free service that we pay for, and it's not great. <laughs> I might not be the smartest when it comes to networking, but I at least know peer-to-peer -peer is a free thing. And I know that's what Nintendo's using. <laughs> Uh, fun. But I digress. 
That's why I made my own thumbnail for my, for my stream. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I... I, sometimes I'm I sorry. Don't. Sometimes I just put an image as my thumbnail. Um, But I actually put an effort this time. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't put a stock image. Like yeah, we both we both made our own thumbnails. Uh, we get uh, Flood uh ch made um the the renders um for hers, and I made mine um my render of like Jack, and then used the render that Flood made. Um, and then, yeah, he made like his own Jack render. Um, the Brella guitar, the Brella just, guitar. Uh... <laughs> I uh, literally just go in the equip menu and take a screenshot. Oh, uh, I I literally I go to um I tap in the I do the silly tap of tap in the amiibo at like Flounder Heights, paint the wall behind me, copy the image into Photoshop and make it transparent. Yeah. Which I might try with that method. Um, the just the screenshot menu one. Uh, just to see if that looks better or not. I don't know. I just used the uh, Flounder Heights method so I could do like the. Uh, I can do some of the poses, um, just, I don't know. If, that way, if I need to, like, change the camera angle or anything on it, that's a person yeah. up there. You have more freedom with that, but, I don't know. I always yeah. feel, I personally don't need it, but I know other people like more dynamic things. Yeah. I just like the, even just the option of it, because I like more options to help me, th help me thunk l a little bit. I may not seem like I know I appear to be, or like I may be silly, low brain cell moments a lot, but I do think things out a lot, like overanalyze at times. I'm the type of dude who legit, um, in between class when I was bored, I boot up the NSO app and I like started calculating how close I was to getting silver badges for special weapons based off how my win rates on the NSO app. Because I barely play prior battles, so like, those barely played a factor um and you know the wins so yeah i, I overthink things <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs> oh okay let's go up here oh that's a jet right on my doorstep hello I didn't know I um, ordered a, a jet delivery service there, but apparently I did. Oh, that's yeah. a that's a naughty up there. I'm gonna do you playing Brella does not compute with this video game. This game is confused half the time. <laughs> when I'm shooting at you, I feel so bad. Oh no. Yeah, I was kind of stuck there. Hi, Maki. Welcome in. Honestly, if they never buffed the damage for Brella. I just hope that they fix the latency. Because the shield is just awful. Yeah, if they do that, that's like enough. Oh, nice last second wipeout. Can we paint? Can we terraform? for? Did we terraform? for him? I don't know. We'll have to see what mid looks like. Oh, I think we terraformed. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go. We oh, did. did. <laughs> terraform moment. Let's go. The silly turf wars. It's like Gamble who gets shot through shield first. That is not fun, Splat Ninja, not when you're playing this weapon. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> not <All right>. fun. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. fun for the whole family. I believe that was two that now, was right? Alright, well then we start on a new. So if you're playing on that one, please hold your horses. Uh, we are doing a new drop in. Uh, if you're part of the first one, um, that's a lot for you to come back. But if you're, like, part of the group of, like, Lol, uh, Ninja, Ragdy, Bades, Beads, Bades? But Bads, yeah. Bads, I don't know how to pronounce things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fish or Prime, then yeah, if you're one of those fellas, you just, like, take a hot minute break. Um, and yeah. We don't talk about the meat pole incident, Big Shot. We don't talk about the uh, mince meat pole. We don't talk about that. You love gambling, though. Have you forgotten? Not when playing Brella. It's <laughs> one thing I don't like. I like consistency when I play my weapon. I can concur. 
Also, hello, Kuro. Welcome to stream. We, we don't talk about the mincemeat poll, okay? That's all. I don't have an opinion on that big shot as well. I don't know where you come up with these questions. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So we're at Sanwa, come on in. We don't talk about turf. True. What do you mean you don't talk about turf? Turf is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I know, Jack. I know. <laughs> My view is not is this. Float up, playing turf. Crazy. I know. I like playing uh, Splatfest. Don't get me wrong. I, I love Splatfest. Don't get me oh. wrong. I, I got com aired right at the title screen. <laughs> or like right at the drop in, you know. So what happened to y'all there? Are you in the void or? I'm what? in with a couple of other folks that joined. Did, um, who, can you tell me who joined? Uh, not anyone from my team from what I'm aware of. I'll leave and then you can make a new one. Okay. Yeah, because that was like, uh, that was Nintendo being Nintendo and just like kicked I me through the curb. I am like, what? Yeah, Nintendo just kind of kicked me to the curb for some reason. I think Nintendo was not happy with me talking about how they handle servers. No way Turf War could be during the day. I know, right? Is that crazy? I know. I'm s I'm a little sad that some people don't like Turf, but honestly, I understand the why. I just yeah. like it because then it allows for like... Okay, if you want to try something new, if you're like, like me, I don't play Brella at all. But I want to be silly and I want to play Brella tonight and, you know, it allows me to experiment with different play styles that I'm not used to. And it, it has proven, at least over time, you know, um, practice makes progress, you know, that whole thing. Um, the more, like, you get exposed to a weapon and play style, the more you get comfy with it and stuff. Um, well, the whole... Two DCs on the other team, okay. Ooh, we love that. I think the room was just broken, period. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Um... Where are the fizz banks? Oh, I love the fizz banks, dude. The fizz banks are so nice. I'm so oh. glad they've added a addition to uh, Splatfest that makes it differentiate from normal turf. And fizz banks are like... They itch my brain in just the right way. It It People is so nice. On Twitter, like they're not powerful. These suck. I'm like, isn't that the whole point? Though? The whole point is just like a silly oh, little chip damage paint. and paint. That's what you do with it. Out. Nothing wrong with that. And hello, extremely chaotic Sylveon. Hopefully, you're doing swell. So Luna, welcome on in. Things are a tad bit silly over here and at Flo to stream. And Doopy, welcome to the silliness. We are a silly in duo. Me and Flo are, both have the sillies. We're both silly little goobers. That's why we're that's why we're ink sane. We we got that we got that insanity in our ink sanity. Oh boy. That's a reef slider. Did you just join into a game? No, I, I've been in one that has a minute left. Oh. Uh, I was just like reacting to like, oh, that's a that's that's a reslider charging right towards me. Did it drop that down there? Storm on the internet, yeah. I know there's some storms on the east coast. Oh, absolutely. It, it was it was raining like almost all day where I'm at. It was not fun walking to class and it like downpouring and like flash flooding on the sidewalk. It was no, not an enjoyable experience to have your socks wet um, and your sneakers trying to just walk. What's up? Oh, OK. I should have figured that would happen. Oops. <laughs> That's that's a skill issue on my part for not. Map now, flounder Robo Ramen. Okay, we have. Ooh, Adam Robo! Let's go. I'm happy with that Robo. You love Robo Ramen? Heck yeah, Ro Ro Robo Ramen's probably 
I need to analyze it more. But I think Robo Rollins might be top five maps in the series for me. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Like, I know in my heart, um, OG Flounder Heights is my favorite in the series. It's like the original Splat 1 Flounder Heights. And then just my personal preference of, you know, it's not an agreed upon opinion, but I like Black after the Wii work in Splat 2. Black Belly is my second favorite in the entire series, but that's just me. Oh, everyone point inside. Oh. What do you mean point oh. inside? It's my oh. baby. Don't make fun of my baby. No, no, I understand. I'm the one that likes mommy and everyone in my chat's like, what? And I'm like, yep, you can't keep See, the mind. And everyone you have like, Ubabi, I have Black Belly. See, like we all have our own little quirks and qualms oh, of interests. Here. We're all a little silly. <laughs> Alright, just let me know when you're done with the game. I am, and I dropped into a new fella now that the map's rotated. So you can drop in, folks. Mm -hmm. Nutty, what are you cooking? Umami equals that? you, mom. Your mom. <laughs> Love a mouth. Alright. Floda, you did not have to push. <laughs> chat parkour just to bonk somebody buddies on standby i appreciate it though i'm not, I'm not bonking them i'm just deleting the message because it didn't sit okay. well with me <laughs> well i mean it didn't sit well with me which is why i was like what are you huh yeah. umami equals you your mommy your mom true i do i do call umami your mom your mommy your mommy your mommy ruins but I also call Eel Tail Alley Eel Tail Daddy in the <laughs> Nice. No one agrees I... with me on that, and everyone questions why I say that, but it's just it's true. I, I mean, I do say that uh, your mom's uh, your mom's arriving whenever Mothership goes to basket. I'm like, your mom's here. Your mother. Yeah. This is a uh, little see you later, Spot Ninja. Uh, later, Ninja. Have a good rest of your day. It's facts. <laughs> oh, that's a re Oh, hey, the shield works against reef sliders. Sweet. Yeah. Very good. I love when the shield work. It works a lot better than you think. It was a lot worse at the start of the game. Yeah, so I remember you saying... Like I got, I got so excited when they said in the past that they fixed latency problems that were obviously bugs, that I could actually shield an ultra stamp being chucked at me. Oh, uh, like, I was that excited about that. <laughs> yeah. Quite sad actually. Just yippee, <laughs> yippee! My weapon's functional. I mean, you know how I popped off when they fixed the like uh, or made the uh, horizontal swing more accurate for uh rollers oh, yeah, that cool. that did so that was so nice you'll tell new mommy's the best ship true manta maria nah you'll tell new mommy yes all right i'll just do that trade there oh bump my head i didn't see your last flanner i'm under the new wait hold on yeah, you said Flounder Ramen are in the new maps. And you... I don't understand what you're trying to get me to read here, um, Extreme Chaotic. Sylveon, you just posted an emoji and then said me. I kind of want to respond with Mawaii. Emoji equals me. <laughs> That's so true. Put some Mawaii's in chat if you are a Mawaii gamer. Yes, fellas. Drop the Mawaii. Um, I have my... I have Moby. Wait... I gotta, my, I gotta get my PNG. Chat, do you wanna say hi to Moby here? Yes, fellas. That is that is me for real. Oh, he only <laughs> appears when I'm talking. I think I put the wrong thing in. Oops. Because <laughs> I have one where, like, I have a sprite where there's Moby and one there's not. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, my fellas. <laughs> I'm not a baby. What are you talking about, Ultra? Uner, I'm no baby. Yeah, 
Alt Jack. I am I am I'm 20 freaking two. I'm old. I get called old all the time. Oh my god. Is this I'm an... what price chat was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Oh my god. There we go. That's more accurate, Nutty. There you go. Like Skull Emoji Piano. That is totally me. I'm old I'm old and I play piano. Totally accurate. <laughs> Yeah. Old, there you go, old man emoji. Yes, there you go. See, now y'all get in it. Now y'all understand. Love seeing all the brellas in there. What do you mean by DS core, huh? What does that mean? Like Nintendo DS live chat or like the <laughs> Picto chat? Is my chat Picto chat? I don't know. Maybe? Uh, that's pretty awesome if that's the case, because I love Picto Chat. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Hey, that's valid. We're very, we're very accepting here, so cool. God. Oh, Flounder Heights Tricolor, how I miss you. Oh my god, that was such a fun map. Oh. The fact that it was really fun for attacking and defending, oh. I had a blast. Statistics, it was the most 50-50 out of all the tricolor maps. Right? And like, I, oh my gosh, it was so good with V-Roller. I'm telling you, like with the big bubbler on both attacking and defending. Oh my gosh, I want it back. Please, please. I like, leaks, I was like, I don't know about this one, guys. This one doesn't look fun. And then it was probably no. the most fun we've had the in a while. Fun, the most fun <laughs> I've had in Flounder. Right? Like, just feeling like your base being important and the whole objective of Tricolor. Definitely a surprise after. Uh, so, uh, uh, who used the screen? I was using screen. Yeah, oh, like, no. I, 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 I could not. I didn't want to leave, like, my base because of that screen. Yeah, please don't use the screen itself. You can use Undercover Sorella. You just cannot use the splatter color screen. Yeah. Please do not. That not could get... I do not want to have a migraine in my own stream. Would not be fun. Hey, I got you, Waddle. Nice to coach and cosplay there. Uh-oh. Yeah, please don't use screen. Ow. Yeah, okay. screen hurt. S screen make brain hurt, and I don't like that. Oh, no. I'm out of ink. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Hi, Tent. Oh. Um, am I? Oh, I might have to skip a song. My music stops. My shield was up. How did you direct me through it? Wow. I don't know. Screen do be uh the shield do be kind of funky though. Yeah. I do gotta say though, Flounder is definitely not a umbrella map. <laughs> if you're if you're playing, right? It. I'm noticing that a bit. Hi, Flo. Is that you? It seems like you. It's definitely And last minute, uh, try strikes oh. for fun. Yeah, I could've gotten the kill on you! <laughs> yeah, it's one thing about Vibrella that stinks. You can't pop your special like that and get away with it. You are completely exposed. Right. Um, yeah. Makes sense. He's actually the one talking out flow really. All right, Donnie. Enjoy the lurk. All right. Uh, that was game oh. one, right? Yes. I should probably check to see how much tresses I need. Yeah, and for future reference, Boca, please do not use screen. You can use the Mobile. screen weapons, just don't use the screen. Is that... Yeah. 
Yeah. Appreciate it. Man, I'm hungry again. I just ate dinner. I hate uh, feeling so much. Oh, uh, mood. That's why I have leftover oh. spaghettis for, um, after we're done here, I'm going to be working on, like, um, improvements to my management paper. So, like, it's, uh, I'm just gonna sip coffee, eat spaghetti, and work on that. Mm -hmm. You're good, Nutty. Yeah, it just that, um, if I get hit by screen, like, three times consecutively, I found out I get a migraine, and that's not enjoyable. That's the same reason why I'm a stick player, is because I get migraines if I play gyro. So, you know, I don't, I don't like to feel my skull feeling like it's cracking. It's not an enjoyable experience. I wish upon anyone. Oh man, playing like Splatoon with like Pokemon, uh, like. Music is just a whole different experience. Oh my gosh. Like a battle, like a trainer battle themes going on right now. It's like. Sprinkler in the funny. Sprinkler, help me. Oh, the reef slider. Nice. I was able to shield it. Oh, why do they stay still afterwards? It wasn't end lag, they were just standing there, menacingly. Oh. I was gonna... Sometimes it... What I hate about shields is that 10 shield always wins against yours, so if you collide shields... Yeah, that's no good. There was a bug where Splatbrilla shield could, um, you know, break any shield. Oh, that's cool. Out, and I'm like, that was not a feature. That would have been so funny if it was. Because even if the tension was slightly damaged, I could, you know. Ah, okay. Oh, oh okay. I ran over my shield. Oh, so yeah, you can put the sprinkler on the bottom of the ramen bowl. Oh, that's funny. You can go on the divider and... Oh, yeah, I, 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 I saw you yeet that up there. I just saw you just chuck it. I just see the, gr like, the lime green sprinkler just go, wee. Yeah, it's good for zones on this map. Because people don't normally pay attention to it. Right. Uh, that's a undercover right in my face, and I don't have oh. enough to paint that. Yeah. Uh, I think we might have got it. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> nice. GG's, GG's. I feel like I'm getting stuff with the hey, I got all gold for once. I'm getting there. Yeah. I think we backing out now? Yep. Aye, aye. Do, 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 do. Let me see how close I am to my two star. I feel like I'm close. Oh yeah, I need 4,000 more paint. So I should be getting it here soon. Uh, two star on that guy and then swap over to order them. Oh, I have 640,000. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. So with Shirley getting the order umbrella five star uh, and then uh, crying about it. Yippee. <laughs> I can't wait yeah. to get 1.1 million paint. 
down. Oh man, I can't. I I imagine somewhere out there is like what should I call it? Um, yeah, I imagine someone out there is trying to like five star every weapon, and I'm like, I'm good with three starring. <laughs> I don't think I want to five star every weapon. I'm barely four starring the ones I really like. Um, yeah. Like if I really like a playstyle, I'll just get hooked on it until I like four star it. That's what happened with like I went on a blaster arc and uh, I made the joke that I was uh, casual Chara because I just kept using range blaster and like yeah. playing like Splatfest and Terra Four. So <laughs> I'm casual Chara. Yippee! <laughs> So congrats, Spot Ninja. I hope you have fun tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, have fun. Your first job. <laughs> you got this. Good shit. Make the bank. Heck yeah, you get the monies, you adulting, you know, you can take those monies and do silly things with them. Um, save up for important thing on my bobs. And then eventually... Fun. And then eventually you're going to have to pay your taxes, which is a whole other thing. <laughs> uh, funny enough, sure. um, I did just run into, or it randomly showed up on my um, YouTube recommended. I think it because like tax season. It's just like video game songs to do your taxes to. And it was like a bunch of like Tom Nook related music and like, I don't know, other like uh, store themes from other games and stuff like that. Yeah. So I found that really funny. <laughs> All right, later, uh, Sylveon. Probably under the table. Yeah, if you get paid in cash, that's good shit. Oh, that's, oh, that's fantastic. Then you know you don't have to worry about taxes. That is that is beautiful. That is, oh, wow, I love getting Zooka'd in the back. Lovely. That's why, that's why, you know, that's why people like paying in cash, man. Like, oh. not only is it more efficient, um, people, you don't know. Exactly. No one can guess how much you have. That's why, like, hey, you, you should tip put, your you don't tip put in waiters. The what do they know? What do Ex they know? Exactly. So, just a general, also like a polite thing to do is tip in cash if you can to your waiters because that will be very beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. Um, so. That's something that's you know, it's a nice little life advice, you know. Probably makes sure them really happy. Yeah. Taxes wouldn't be that difficult if they just sent you a letter in the mail saying how much you owe, because the government already knows that. It's just people lobby the government to make you not know that, so. Right, which is so f just why? Just tell me what I owe. So. Yeah. You shouldn't We'd... use TurboTax anyway. Never use yeah. TurboTax. I just... We have a family, um, family friend who does it. Yeah. It's funny, too, um, while we're on this topic, for the first time ever, I had to pay Jokochin taxes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so that was something. It wasn't much. I'm not going to disclose what, of course, but, like, it, it just totally was funny. Not that much. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't that cheap. much at all. It's just like, oh, I have to pay Chikochi taxes. That's to funny. Honest, you just got the two-year badge. Ooh. Or just the one-year badge. What? Wait, huh? Like a... Let me scroll up. Yeah, Iridess was just the one-year. And now Iridess is now the two-year. There oh. you go. It must have been the anniversary of it? Question mark? I guess I need to make actual emotes. I've not had actual emotes for two years. Let's go. <laughs> Still waiting to get the two year lol. Yeah, you're close, buddy. I can tell you you're close to the two year. I know I that for to, sure. Emojis, but my emojis are fine. Heck yeah. Yeah, I, lo I love how it's just, uh, the, for the majority of people, it's just like the final to your badge is usually just like the rainbow gay badge, which we love. That's how you're used. I might want to do that, but. Oh, they do? 
Yeah, they do. I didn't know that. Yeah, they have. Okay, I should I should look into that. What what, what would be better than Rainbow though? That's the thing. Like, how I can you beat like, Rainbow? I've done it where they just push the Rainbow one back, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, because like, then that removes it from people who earned it. So like. So I might want to do maybe a, the Rainbow hat for me. Ooh. Or maybe I could do something. I might do something like a. A rainbow sneaky beanie or something instead of just the ocean head? I don't know. I'll think about it. Or could be the, the ocean head with the little beanie. Oh, that would be something. Like a combination of the two. Ooh. Well, I, I need to commission someone for that, and I would rather commission someone be with the emotes for my virus because I don't have the emojis yet. Uh, yeah, I have still... I still want to do a whole bunch of emojis that I just haven't really talked to artists about, and I don't want to overwhelm artists. Ooh, actually, what would fit for my lore is um, a heart that's on fire, um, and then, like, for the four-year one, it's just a heart on fire, but it's, like, gold or something. I could do the coral headband, true. Ooh, yeah, true. Now that you've... Uh, Upgrades, people. Upgrades. You got the nice coral. I don't know. I'd have to talk to Jenna about that. No, 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 no need to apologize, buddy. You, you, buddy, you are doing more than enough. You already are saving us a lot of trouble with the certain thingamabob secret thingy bob that we've talked about in the shared DM hint hint wink wink thingamab yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't want to disclose any secret. Also, we're we're tag teaming. Poor Joseph. Or like badges, which are cumul cumul cumulative. Oh, Jordan said. Okay, Jordan said on his stream. Okay, I can talk about it. I wasn't sure. Oh, Bunny's yeah, helping yeah. us with the um insane assets. Bunny's oh, doing the insane I'm so assets. I'm for that because I've always wanted to do the thing. Yeah, yeah I, so I just close, but I I'm very excited. Are we yeah. doing like a stream or video of what we're going to do? I think we're streaming it. I think it's a like stylized like it's a not stream. Always down the stream on my end. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm I think uh, what I was turn. Yeah, I think that would be cool if we could take turns with it. We need to talk more. Buddies, we'll let Buddy cook with it. But yeah. I'm really excited. Make my PNG the best one, Cuddle Bunny, okay? Cuddle oh, Bunny, I'll slip you an extra five if you make mine <laughs> slightly I'll better. Extra <laughs> I'll do 25. <laughs> extra 25. <laughs> Bunny is doing a scary emoji. I might actually make it my new PNG, though. Oh, yes, yeah, same. Let's like, if I... More. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll let was it cook. That, that was not the second one. That was the first one. That was the first, yes. Yeah, because that was with um random fellas for the first one. Now we're doing this, and then we're backing out after. Not y'all br bribing me on stream. <laughs> it's an auction. It's like $5, $15, 25 30 <laughs> I want to get a new PNG, though. Like, jokes aside, uh, I'm... I do want one that actually talks when I talk. Because I didn't really care for it, but now the next step up is that. So I just got to think of what I want. I got to talk to Vibs again. Yeah, I I did. Um, I am doing one, but the artist is a slow cooker. I, I let him simmer with it. You know, like, I don't put time limits on things because I truly don't oh, yeah. believe you should. Like, I don't like giving people like time frames from for artwork oh, yeah. I, I just like art is something like you need to be in the right mindset for so like i don't want to like force that, that someone down someone's throat be like girl you need to do this now no that's all no i don't like that because then it's not ever done that once because i wanted the splatoon 3 thumbnail right like that that makes I sense because it's like oh i gotta like oh this is coming out right now and i want to do that 
I, th I think I did that with the, my side order drone. I was like, hey, could this be done now that we know the side order release date? Is that too much? Or like, I think that was the only thing I really was like, hey, deadline ish here because I want to use it. I want to stream side order the second it comes out. I would love to share what we're talking about, Splendid Way. It kind of is under wraps. We're going to hopefully have it done whenever Cuddle Bunny's done. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, no better. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to share all the juicy details, but oh, we're, we're just doing some hit drops. I think, I think people will enjoy it because, um, you know, we have, like, as Ink Same, we like to collab with each other a lot. And mm -hmm. we've only done a couple big mega collabs, which are, like, Among Us. We've never really done anything Splatoon. So this allows us to embody that um, yeah uh, but it's it's not what you actually think it's going to be um but you know it's it's going to be i think something that everyone can enjoy and if we live stream it which is why i asked because even i don't know everything all i know is that it's happening <laughs> yeah um, but you know it's gonna be you know, it, it's very it's been cooking for a while I'm pretty sure um, Jard made some like non artsy assets for it like two years ago. So, oh, yeah, it's been in the works for a while, but just um, I haven't really shared this personally on my channel recently, but I should probably change my channels for that for my Insane. But Insane did have a little renovation recently, um, some mm -hmm. members became inactive, so we've had to sort that out. We've got some new members. Which we did collab with during the Splatfest, besides Sky. Um, yeah. Sky Strainer. I think um, Sky collabed with Derp, though, not? I'm pretty sure. They Sky did, they did, but not, not for us. Not for us. Oh, yeah, no, no. They weren't like on. We were the key, uh, keyboard all by fellas. But. Yeah, so we had Alola and Fry that join us for the keyboard um, fest that one time. Yeah. So. We have a new sense of energy, so I'm very excited to do this because I've wanted to do it. It's just no one really did anything, and, you know, we were still relatively new. Like, we didn't have what everyone has now. Like, right. The, the management skills, the preparation, and all that stuff. I feel like we've gained a lot more experience with a lot of things. Like, even from personal experience, like... Um, helping run and like own a collab server in uh <laughs> sorry shoddy like a melody came on sorry like a melody complete hearing that song just turns off my brain completely <laughs> okay um no okay that was two games we're backing out do a new one I'm gonna switch it order umbrella um <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, no, what I was saying before I started laughing at Shadow Like Ability Mario 64 sad font, um, was I even gained some insight on some, like, interpersonal skills with, like, management and whatnot from, like, running a collab server in Splatoon Salmon Station. That, like, helped me realize, oh, okay, we can set a time, like, specific time chunks, realizing people's time zones, all that stuff. And it, like, it really helped me realize, like, yeah, we need to figure out when we all are free, um, and if we can make, if we can cook, um, and even if we can't get like all eight of us now, we it was initially twelve at Ink Now we're down. Now you know some people became inactive, and now we got new fellas. So we're a solid number eight, which I think is pretty good, so that we can do like a lot of four player things of like just oh, we only need to gather three more of us, you know, like. I think that helps a lot. Um, so yeah. So hello, Morgan. Welcome to stream. Uh, I'm sorry for not saying hello. We were we were passionately talking about what we're cooking. We're we're, we're making a like five course meal. We're, we're slowly we're simmering it. Right now, we're big posting. Yeah. <laughs> this is this also, is the bait. That's what I do. That is the mission. Yeah, Besky Morgan. Joining Heck me yeah. Saturday. The go. Mm -hmm. Wait, which yeah. rotation is that that y'all are cooking with? Like, the that's. Randomized rotation. Green. All oh, right. 
I would have joined that. I would have like wanted to do that, but I'm doing Splat One like all weekend long for like the final weekend of it. I've been on I'm a workaholic arc, so <laughs> wanted a fair. nine nine. We we love to see the flow working for Grisco. Damn right, damn right. Yippee! Actually, I actually did really well. I got 600 EVP on Sockeye today. Let's go. Managed to get through what 286 hazard let's go nice so, you're getting there i, I can't wait to see you get your hazard high. level I'm, I'm excited to get to see you do your hazard level and get that badge yeah. i remember i got my sockeye nines with a uh, cap and fry and i think i think drippy i could be wrong but i think i did that with both cap fry and drippy it's cool so mm -hmm. i'm excited I've always wanted to get into Saren Run, right? But, like, I've always been multiplayer focused. But now that, like, you know, I've gotten to experience a lot of different things in this game, like, let's give Salmon Run more of a try. Because I've always loved Salmon Run. Like, I've loved Extra Burke. I loved, you know, you know, me and you guys with that BI server. <laughs> yeah, that was that's always really fun. So, you know, playing with friends, I'm like, damn, this actually kind of cooks. So I've been kind of, like, I knew I was decent at Salmon Run, but I didn't know how far I could go. So I, like, I like kind of working as long as it's good. And and the main reason why is because I've been recently doing things called kingfishing, you know, um, in that one yeah. session. I've been trying to get the Horrorboros badges just because, hey, you got to work for something, right? That's something that this game does really well. Lots of silly little badges you can put on to make yourself stand out. Um, I want that silver, possibly gold Horrorboros badge. Like, yeah? Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. That's that's I agree with you 100 percent that I feel like a lot of the um the, that's probably the best one of the best things they added in Splat Three was the whole badge system and just like those incentives those like goals to work for has kept me more engaged with Splatoon than like ever the new freshness system the just badge system as a whole like oh like oh here's these cool things you can work towards if you kill so many fish or you get this high in x rank or you just play this weapon for so long it like it's a really nice the incentivization of this game is great so it is yeah it is fantastic also hello alexander welcome to stream yeah the thank you Flota. they will be the, yeah yeah I was, I was in the middle of you know having a conversation with my like collab friendo right here named flota 4866 so <laughs> having some patience in life you know that's part of the peace love and good vibes that we strive for fellas so if you don't have patience come on like it's not hard to be patient it really is not also um we don't have a full room so this will be considered a bonus game Remember, you can rejoin, but as long as you were, you know, obviously in the last lobby, you cannot rejoin, but yeah. in the past lobby, and you didn't join the last one. So yeah, then you can hop on in. No Brella buffs made him an overfisher. Hey, now, Brella did get buffed. I just want to pursue more. I want to pursue more in this game. It's something that I realized, not last season, but the season before, I, obviously, everyone knows me for doing a lot of PPs, and I used to do them every week. Yeah. On Friday. And while I do love doing that, don't get me wrong, um, there's a lot more in this game to, that is offered to you besides Splatoon 2. There was no oh. incentive to play the game. The only incentive like, was X rank and lead power, but I wasn't that good of a player. And there wasn't any more new updates or anything. So, like, there really wasn't anything to offer. And I just want to play more, man. Oh, absolutely. I know you're joking around about that. I know that you're joking around. It's just... Yeah, it just, like, it's definitely something mode, that's... Man. Yeah, it just, it's definitely something that's just... This game does very well. Um, mm -hmm. And... I'll admit, as long as I have people to play with Splatoon, even if the badge system didn't exist, I would still be playing this game just because I love I play this game for the social aspect of it. Like I love yeah. playing video games with people. Um, but 
the fact that they do have this incentives is I've played more Splatoon 3 outside of streaming than I have Splatoon 2 um, just because of that. Um, I tip, I didn't, I barely played Splatoon 2, even when I was like, you know, before Splatoon 3's existence back in like 2021, um, yeah. I play, I did not really play Splatoon 2 outside of streaming or VCs with friendos. Um, I would usually hop on a different game like Mario Kart or Smash Brothers or something. But with this game, there's a reason why I have 1,500 hours in it. And that's because I'm putting, I'm racking up hours even when I'm not streaming, like if I have even just 30 minutes before a class, like that happened this, today, I woke up, I had like 30 minutes before I had to go to like my like physics uh, lecture. And I was like, I'm going to just play a few games of open here because like, that's like 20 minutes. I could probably, um, you know, do like four, three to four games, depending on how quick they go. So yeah, yeah it's down here. Oh, I thought this was Jack. <laughs> Sorry, Waddle. <laughs> no, nope, I'm over that. <laughs> Waddle's dressed up as me. I know, I was like, Jack, what are you doing? That's not me. That's not you. I'm sorry. You're good. <laughs> uh, the doppelganger. I know, that actually tricked me because I'm just, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> also, Alexander, we've said this in Jack's chat. One more time, and you're going to get banned, because I've already had to talk to you about this. When streamers are talking, we can't always read the chat. And it's not going to be frame one, we're going to say hello. We'll say exactly. hello when we see the chat. So I'm exactly, gonna to I'm going to have to time you out. But one more time, and I'm not having it anymore. Yeah, me neither. We're, we're about just hanging out and having a good time. So I, if you're going to... I know you want... I know you're saying hello and being polite and whatnot, but... We're gonna say hello when we look at chat, okay? Just yeah. Give us a hot time. minute. Give us like patience is a virtue. Yeah, I support the workaholic side. Heck yeah. Danny Morgan. Yeah. We do be like that. We we do be silly and sandals. That was only one, right? Uh, that was none because that was in a full lobby. All right, that's a bonus game. Cool. I for gore. See, I'm, this is another reason why it's great to have a collab friend knows because I don't have brain power. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, there's still one slot available, folks. Um, so again, bonus game. We need one more fella then to join us. Remember the uh pool is Flojack F L O J A C K. Um you could join the the sillies, you know, just hang out, play some silly turf, grind your freshness level, grind some experience, some monies, all that stuff. Badges, you know. That's another thing, too, is like Splatoon 2, once you like bought everything, there was like no purpose for money. In this game, you got like the shell out machine, you can like buy to level up your gear and like get more stars for it. And like the stars actually do purpose because if you get enough of those, then you can get the golden brand badges. And yeah. that's something I, again, I was bored um, in between matches while in between time slots of classes. I was like, okay, how close am I to getting the golden brand badges? Let me just tally up all these here. Oh, I have, let's see, 82 stars for Squid Force and like 71 for Zeko and. I think I had like 79 for Forge. It was like, oh, I'm I'm getting there. Because once you get like 100, then you get the gold brand. So it, it's it's getting there. Maybe just a bit more grinding for monies and I'll be set. Kind of check to make sure that was not Jack. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I hope. It's confusing uh, me right now. It's working. <laughs> I mean, I I helped you kill Waddle, so I was hoping that you would realize it wasn't me. I'm just I just don't pay attention to who's on my team or not. Right. Like, usually I play open, right? So I know who's on my team. Like, it's really strange. Welcome to the world of Turf Four and Five, my friend. Oh, you got just double teamed. You got jumped there. No, there was yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened though. I I, I got relish shields. You don't know where you're getting bumped. 
or who you're bumping and where. Right. I, I waddle. Hey, Ninja. Help. Oh, waddle? Hey, waddle. <laughs> Bye, waddle. <laughs> Scan it, no response does not mean neglected notice. You can spend money for badges, exactly, smiley face. You can spend the monies to get the brand badges or just the shopkeeper badges too. I'm very close to getting the my last shop golden shopkeeper badge, which is the uh you know the headpiece shop in Igopolis Square. Oh, that was a good that was a good um Oh, well, it was Nicho. Why am I not surprised? Of course, it was a good squiffer shot. It was Splat Nicho. <laughs> Get down from the zip. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you say that. Let's just see the X appear out of the corner of my screen. I didn't even do that. Someone else got it. Uh, I thought that was you. No. I don't oh, know. hey, Waddle's I like jumping. I imagine in. my character eye rolling when anyone just constantly zip arms just to get damage. Like, I know that's a valid strategy, but I'm just like. Roll my eyes. I'll just dodge. Oh, uh, I'm getting. So uh, well, I got one of them. Couldn't get my doppelganger. I have gold. Bye. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, okay, this paint, paint, paint. Yeah, I think we got that one. That does that looked a lot closer than it was, I feel. Hmm. Never know. My zip is blocked. Oh, you're also, good one. Flounder Heights. Zip is not too good on Flounder Heights. Yeah. Oh, so you're I feel good, like it's why? Good for retake, but not when you're already on top of mid. Yeah. And hello, Fox. I never edited my vids up until now. Well, Ultra Tutor, I wish you the best of luck because even I don't edit because like it's so time consuming. Like, I I understand streaming is time consuming, but like. I feel like I can manage streaming way better than I can manage editing, if that makes sense. Also, now we got a full lobby, so this will be considered game number one. So we'll play two games with all eight of us here, and then we'll back out and do a new one. Hello, Sir Nerd. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, say hi to Fox. Hi, Fox. Uh... Do, do. Yeah, I oh my gosh. I commissioned for a thumbnail and I'm not even ready to edit at all. It's fine. It's just on the back burner. It's fine. <laughs> I heard editing. Yeah, we're talking about uh someone in uh, I think it was uh, Ultra Tuner was editing in uh Jack Jen. I I like editing. It's just for me it's just kind of hard to get started, but once I get going, it's good. I just need a very like, I don't, I'm not the person, to, I've never been the person to, like, you know, Splatoon, but, you know, <laughs> not, I'm not the Splatoon 3, but I stuff my controller in the washing machine. Like, I'm not like that person, okay? <laughs> Like, I, I like tracking the funny moments. Like, I used to, like, Let's Play, I guess, if you were going to be real about it, but, uh, um, I just like tracking the funny moments. It's yeah, just like, I get you. Sometimes I just forget to actually edit the funny moments. I maybe should uh, maybe edit my April Fool's video, but like even then the stream is so short, you can just watch it yourself. But um, I don't know. It takes me, I need to have a really good idea, like something prominent, something memorable. Yeah. That's why I, it's so hard for me because videos, like, I don't know how people make memorable videos all the time. Like, that's just. Crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I have like ideas and then I start them and then most of the time I just have a bunch of uh I don't know if it's just ADHD brain or if it's just like I'm not quite confident in my capability but like I have so many just partially completed projects or half completed projects that I just don't pick back up half the time like they just kind of sit there um and it's like 
I don't think they're bad ideas. I just, I don't feel like I'm executing them to their fullest potential, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of times they just kind of sit in the uh, jack scrapped corner. So it do be like that sometimes. I'm going to have to switch to Sorella, guys. I don't know if I can handle the Vibro anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything. You're good. You're good. I'm oh. actually feeling like I've I've improved. I'm doing my natural turf war and vibe thing where I, I progressed because I'm playing the weapon. Um, I don't know if I told you about it, but I'm like uh, I did the uh, I used to be awful with bamboo. Like I'm talking garbo with bamboo slur. Um, and like I started a stream, I was going like zero oh and six and stuff. Um, and then near the end of stream, after like consistently playing it, I got a game where I was like seven and zero, and then like I went like positive KDs near the end of stream, and I was like, oh, well, I, I I'm improving, I'm yeah. learning, <laughs> and th again, that's just I always try to encourage to hey, practice makes progress. Um, it might not make you perfect. Uh, I don't know why people say it'll make you perfect, but it'll definitely take a step in the right direction. You know. <laughs> Are you on my No, you're not on my team. No. Okay. I just wish there was the right side on Flounder Man. Like just constantly going left because it's the only viable option is just really, really bad. Ugh. Right. Like I really wish um they made things more paintable, like they did in the original where you could go all the way to the right and like swim all the way up and be able to like outflank and stuff it was so cool yeah. and why i already said i for i forgave you you're good i accept your apology you're good don't stress about it yeah that was that first was one. that was first one yeah because we didn't have full lobby so we'll do this and then we'll back out after this one there's a reason why i don't play vibrella at all <laughs> guys i think morgan likes samurai just a guess oh man hmm, i wonder morgan kid, you know this morgan kid like i think they're really good at multiplayer like their badges they're just you know Hmm, I don't, I don't know about you, but I think this, like, Flota fellow over here really likes Umami Ruins. I don't know. It's just a hunch, though. Huh. Uh, Alright, battle time. Hashtag stick out just a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, Sir Nerd, when it comes to, like, OCs and lore and stuff, you basically start brainstorming ideas, and then you just slowly develop a story um at least that's how it was for me developing jack and ocean lore it was like i had some basic ideas and then i just most of my lore i relate to just irl feelings and whatnot and just like sometimes dramatize it like a theater kid you know like that's just sort of what i do when it comes to lore um yeah it's pretty fun i know i know flow is also a lore enthusiast <laughs> Yeah, you I don't enjoy. usually talk, I, I usually, like, unlike you and uh, whoever, uh, uh, Auk, I think, um, that we were mentioning here, I don't really uh, Oh, my bad. Like, my I just bodies. don't really personify that into any of my streams. Oh, uh, my apologies. No, it's funny, it's funny. No, right. and you're good if you want to talk about it, it's just, I'm just okay. saying, like, you guys go all out i am more <laughs> it, i'm more kind of in the background like i have this and i'll update you on this rather than yeah it, it's, sh it's, it's, it's 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 a background it's a secret it's, it's a flow that's, that's what the fan art slideshow is supposed to be for that heck yeah I, fan artwork is the the carries my the oc content aka the fans carry yippee the OC content. But I'm the one that's actually, you know, doing it. So I do have my yeah. own. Uh, I used to do a lot of elaborate backstories, but now, ever since I've 
gone a little bit simpler. It's been a little bit more fun because I used to just go off of a story like, ooh, this would be an epic story. Now I have to build a character. Now I'm right. like, I have a character. Now it's time to make a personality, then do the story. Which is something yeah. I didn't do. This, the personality came last for me, but ever since, um, you know that, it's uh, been quite... Yeah, I get you. I I've usually just because I'm a psychology nerd, I usually start off with the character and then um it's very rare I come up with a story idea first and then a character. I do have one instance of that where I was like I don't know why I would just like um uh, it was like I came up with the idea of what if there's a f team full of people who all started with the name uh like the letter J and I called the team the J's. Um that was only one instance of that where it's like, okay, I want to have a team called the J's and I need like two other characters who start with the letter J. That was pretty much it. Everything else I usually just fully fledge out a character first and then be like, okay, with this personality, how would they interact with these people and all that, all that, all that over analytical, silly, silliness. That's fun. And see us though, Jelly. Have a good rest of your day. God, I hate flounder. Flounder moment. Yippee. People, I don't... Why? Oops, all flounder. Give me ramen. Don't worry, we're, we're backing out doing a new drop in, so maybe yeah. it'll be nice to us to give us some ramen. Yeah, flounder lockouts are insane. Like, I feel like I didn't, I don't think, didn't feel like I went eight and three, but you know, here we are. Yeah. I absolutely yeah, buy flounder. Hi, hey folks, you can drop in. Remember, pool is flowjack, F L O J A C K. Yes, you could join us, Y, if you so wish to. We're doing dropping right now. Okay, I'm gonna skip this song. It's good. I'm just not vibing with it. Marty did not die in April Fools. <laughs> On my server, I have this channel about the OC updates. It's really the only place if you ever want to get it. Any information about that? But I joked that. My villain characters died, and everyone was the opposite personality. Oh, fun! The yeah. silly, the silly uh, role reverse. Yes. So true. It is one of my OC birthdays today. Yippee! Happy birthday to the character. Yes. I have not even thought of birthdays for some characters. I just realized I am only like, oh, they're roughly this age. You only, obviously, is like, yeah, oh, I, so does have my birthday, but that's different, you know? I didn't like the idea of birthdays, but I did it one time, like, you know what, this kind of makes sense, considering they have the act actual ages, so, like, they age. Did not make sense. Yeah. Flounder hides foghorns out. <laughs> yeah, where's the big run on Flounder, huh? Wasn't that leaked a while ago or something? Where the hell was that? <laughs> like... <laughs> That will be the final big run. Oh my god. Flounder Heights, please. I would genuinely be happy if they did a Flounder Heights rework because that map does not, like, unlike Hammerhead, uh, Flounder Heights genuinely only needs a couple fixed things to be awesome again. Just, right. please. Hey, can you make the walls paintable again? Okay, thanks. Yeah, on the right side, please. <laughs> That would that would make that map my beloved once once again. No, I want that so bad. What day of the year is Marty Day? April second. Yippee! That was a dev file name. Oh, was it? It was a dev file name. Yeah. Oh. Oh I man, I am low. What's that? I know a while ago they leaked. "Quote unquote leaks that there were big run maps, so yeah, I guess it was something. And then everyone was surprised when it was Eeltail, because that wasn't in the case. 
<laughs> right. I mean, Eeltail was fun big run map. I had fun with that. Yeah. I, I just feel like, you know, the, my theory is, like, all the locations, if you really think about it, they're getting closer and closer to Splatsville. Started out in Inkopolis in the wide open sea of Wahoo World. Right. And went to Inkbot Art Academy, more of the sub suburbs, maybe a little bit on the outskirts of the city of Inkopolis. And then... You know, they went to Undertow Spillway, like they were traveling between the cities. Then they arrived in Umami Ruins in the desert, getting closer. And then Barnacle, a little bit more closer. And then, uh, you know, Eeltail is literally almost dead center. So, Which, I don't know what else they can do. I don't know. I is would be so crack, cool. But It'd be so, I don't think this is going to happen. Um, because I don't know how the devs would do it. But it would be so cool if they actually, like... The big run happened in Splatsville, like the actual lobby of Splatsville. I don't know how they would do it. I don't know if it's possible, but that I think would be one of the coolest things. Is just, yeah. oh, they are actually at our front door. Like you go to log in, you're like maybe if you have the DLC, maybe you're like kicked off to like Acopolis Square, Acopolis Plaza, and if you don't have the DLC, then you're just like. Right on the outskirts of Splatsville, like like the demo area, and then just like, oh, yeah, Splatsville's getting invaded right now. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. You'll chill being amazing and tricolor and big run that hot shit of multiplayer. Yep, yep. Hint: It's called mid is wider. <laughs> <laughs> There's actual flags, <laughs> or like there's actually more ways to get on the bridge besides one way. <laughs> Dude, I really want them to like make Eel Tail. Oh, I feel like that's the next re rework though. Eel Tail <laughs> just screams rework to me. Like Mince Me after Mahi, like that screams rework to me. Like they're gonna rework that now. I hope so. so. I hope they do, because literally people are like, oh, they're not changing too much about the maps. And I'm like, well, if they rework the map entirely, like, it's not the same map. Like, I get it. Mincemeat's not the best designed map, but it needed to be widened. It needed to have more cover. Yeah, now Clam Bliss is actually a bit better now, I would argue. Good. Rainmaker functions way better. Clam Blitz is awesome. Zones has always been okay on it. And then Tower's just, you know, Tower Control, so we don't talk about that. But, um, <laughs> but like, Yiltail just needs the widening treatment. It's too linear. There's not a lot of places to go in mid. Same problems as Mince Me. I just mm -hmm. wish they did Umami instead. Uh, because right. of a certain stage called uh, Mahi Mahi that had literally <laughs> no spawn. Just a square. And Umami is literally just two squares. Right. Like, please rework Umami first. But if it's Eel Tail, <laughs> I won't complain. Because honestly... Eeltail, I really can only like be like Rainmaker and Clams are okay, and I can really only stand Rainmaker. And the other ones are just bad, so I just hope that they, uh, you know, they do that. Yeah, yeah and, I get you. Eeltail's a good concept. We've seen it be good too. Mm -hmm. The Mammalians trailer, like I don't like talking about that, but it's so true. It's not. It's really not that much different. They just made it more linear. They made it smaller, like spawn. The spawn area was completely different, but like, it was this mid was literally the same, and well, they just made it more tight. <laughs> like, I don't know. They yeah, I don't know. They got up. Splatoon is a one of the things that makes Splatoon one of the most enjoyable experiences to me. Anyway, is how fun the movement is, and because Splatoon three limits a lot of movement, it's very linear in some aspects. That's kind of takes away from a lot of it at least for me like yeah. even even this map where like i remember seeing a picture of like oh yeah here's how much they um made flatter heights small like shorter and it's like compared to spot one i'm like oh like that that hurts me a little bit because like squid searching would be like actually much more like it is semi-viable here but like it'd be even more viable like if they made the original height I personally hated the heights actually so i'm glad that they did the thing but it's understandable I mean, fair it's yeah i just i just want squid searching to be 
useful more, I guess. It's like, I want it to be utilized more because this is an interesting tactic. It just not many people utilize it because there's not too, yeah. too many places in the world to use it <laughs> effectively. My absolute favorite comment on Umami is from JP player. If you tell the rectangle, it's still a rectangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wanted ramen. <laughs> I want ramen too. Where the hell is it? This is not Flounder Tricolor, which is literally the best Flounder experience that's not Raymaker. Please. Legit, Mincemeat Clams is fun, and Mincemeat Raymaker is insanely fun, yeah. And, and you know why those those modes are really good on Mincemeat? Because they're outside mid, and Mincemeat always had a good spawn region. <laughs> yeah. This mid sucked so bad! It was like a funnel, except it wasn't like undertow funnel, where you actually could like perch somewhere. It was like, here is snipe, here's a wall, here's a snipe, let's fight. Medieval style, <laughs> like, boom. No, oh, that's, that's a lot of, yeah, I don't like that either. It's just, you, you gotta have more, like, flexibility with things. You gotta, like, be silly. Like, this, I want silly stuff to happen. Like, I know a lot of, some people were, like, frustrated, or, or might be frustrated by it with, like, the, um, at least some people who, sorry, I'm trying to figure out phrasing. Phrasing's hard. New Squiffer is so cool that they added Zipcaster to Squiffer because of the whole gimmick of charging it midair. Um, and I know some people are upset about that because they're like, how do I counterplay that? Um, yeah, it is a learning curve to deal with that, but I think that is just shows how crazy and silly this game can get. And I love that side of Splatoon. I love the sillies. Now, and yeah having more mobility it, i think is better and hello king poyo hopefully you're doing well and hi spooks i'm sorry i didn't say hello to you early and hello nobody as well i feel like this past season has really showed like I, you know with the new weapons that we were talking about like a lot of them were about being flexible mm -hmm. and i know they're not like competitively viable for but like if you really think about it like yeah, Explode with Splashdown isn't really, like, the best, but, like, you have the flexibility to just panic button as something. You're able to go in better. You have a wall. You have a Splashdown. Like, might not be the easiest weapon to learn, but, like, even with the new Dreadringer, it could be really fun. Like, sometimes having oh, yeah. some fun stuff is good, too. Um, and, you know, there's still fun maps. There's still fun weapons, and there's still bad weapons and bad maps, but, you know, every game's going to have that. Yeah, and yeah, even if it's not by, like, textbook definition good, if it's fun, I'm happy for that. Like, I've had moments where just, like, oh, there's, I'm an Explo, and there is a small group of people in front of me, but wait a minute, I am the custom Explo. I'm just gonna, whoop, triple splash down, get a double. Mwahaha. <laughs> just, because it, it's yeah. goofy. It's not good by definition textbookly but you it builds up some silliness where it's like you don't expect an expo to charge right at you but if it's a custom expo it might and uh, it might have a good reason to because then it will just keep you at bay with that I've weirdly seen a lot of sea expos custom expo is like really fun like mm -hmm. expo has had like an entry tool before but it was called baller Boo! Baller. <laughs> what the hell was that? Heavy baller? Yeah. Just popped, like, instantaneously? That was not fun. But Splashdown, <laughs> it's like, even if you die, you can still kill people, you still put pain on the ground, like... It's not yeah, this... the worst. It's not Hydra with Splashdown. Oh it's my gosh, yeah. Might want it. And people can be really good with it. Like... I know Expo Mains wanted something different, and, like, I feel bad for them because they, sh you know, but, you know. It's still really f silly. It's still fun. Like, Nautilus was flashed down. What the hell were they thinking? Still but really that is fun, so though. fun! You were yes. right about that. That was, like, one of the most fun new weapons. Like, I have so much fun when I pick that up. 
Like, it is a blast. Also, Wolfie, watch the squid back in a little bit. Some fellas might not like that. Just saying. It can be seen as arrogant, and we don't want that here. And hello, also, I'm 14. Like, Welcome to stream. A new Dreadringer, too. Like, it's cool that you can place beacons and be annoying. Like, you help oh, your yeah. teammates. And, yeah, I mean, Nightbreaker oh. kind of synergizes with it, too, if you don't want to go directly in. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I was messing around with that in, um, like, the new Dread, and I think it was Ship Shape Zones. And like placing beacons on that map and then just coming in, mm -hmm. you know, yeeting the freaking um wavebreaker down. It could be silly. Well, uh, and dev. Stream. It was not ending. I don't know if we got there. Also, was that the second one? Yes, it was the second one. Okay. Alright, we'll back out here. Yeah, well, if we just watch the arrogance in this, okay? Please and thank you. We don't wanna be there's a fine line between confidence and cockiness. We don't want anyone to be cocky. So congrats on being a uh, beating H panel, by the way. Weirdly, I've seen a lot of yeah, but like Wahoo's very unpopular, but among but many, but I love Wahoo. That's the great thing about this game. It's like you can enjoy whatever the hell you want. Like people hate Umami Ruins, but I like it. Yeah. Like that's just there's oh, things sorry. in the middle ground. Like there's obviously going to be things that are like always going to be bad. Like. Vibrella. Like, if you defend this weapon, get on my chat. Like, what <laughs> but, like, you know, like, people have opinions on things, and it's cool to see how people react to them. Like, there's obviously going to be the maps that are actually good and the maps that are actually bad, but there's things in the middle. A lot of things in the middle that people can enjoy or not enjoy and whatever they wish. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, that's... Honestly, the great, uh, great thing about having multiple, like, so many options in a game as a whole, yeah, like, exactly. I, I uh, like to use the analogy of, like, the c characters in Smash Brothers, where, like, there are so many characters in Smash Ultimate, where you can like so many different, you can like a character that a lot of people don't like, or you can like a character that everyone likes, or you can like this middle character that some people like, it, it, as long as you like it, you know? Everyone has a reason for their preferences yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, just yeah. have fun with it. Cook with it. I personally, my personal belief is I think anyone can be good with any weapon if you put enough time and dedication into Absolutely. it. And if you, yeah, if you understand a weapon's flaws and like what it does good, like it's if you know your weapon's pros and cons and your enemy doesn't, you can you can pull one over on them. And it, it is really satisfying to do sometimes. Yeah, like for Brawl, right? No one played it at launch. I still did. People applauded me for it, like, and I did really well. Like, mm -hmm. you can do it, guys. Heck yeah. You can play the silly weapons. I know people, like, always like to relate to, like, those that are either super casual or super competitive, but, like, you know, you can just. Play Just be you. you yeah. Cook your own way. Make make your own stir fry. <laughs> Just yeah. You have fun if you you can do it. Just that's the great thing about it. Be the silly. And she's going well. M fourteen. Thanks for asking. We're just hanging out doing our silly. Yeah. Maybe be third Torp kids though. Ooh, yeah, that would be really fun. I really do hope if we get third kits, I want all the weapons that didn't get third kits in Splatoon to get Splatoon 2 to get it. So, like, Vanilla Spot Brella should get a third kit. YouTuber should get a third kit. Expo should get a third kit. Stuff like that, you know? I think that would be neat. And even if they don't, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I understand. But it would really fit the Splatoon 3 vibe if everything had three kids, every would, subclass. It would, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is a flinza in my face. Oops. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. You know, uh, it would be really interesting if they do release uh, Splatoon 3 news at Worlds. I don't know if they're going to do that, but 
That'd be really cool. And the only That'd reason why sick. I suspect that is they would have done side orders release date because they released the side orders release date like all of a sudden, like a couple right. days after Worlds would have happened. Mm -hmm. I it just they did that with Octo expansion, I think, or the whatever was at Worlds then. Sheldon picks, I don't know. Oh yeah, see, Sheldon picks would be a perfect thing to announce for Worlds. That would be great. Oh, um, for you, so you know, a a a don't. Can you pronounce that? I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher it. It's either Adonai or Adonai, and I never have gotten it right, and I don't believe they've ever told me. No one tells me if I get their name wrong or right, and everyone The laughs. latter sounds like it might be it. Adonai? That sounds like it could be it. So I'm gonna take a while, I guess. The second one is our Adonai. Okay, sweet. Oh, Thank you, Adonai. Adonai. You your name wrong the whole time. Okay, well. Adonai. Um, Worlds is, well, Splatoon 3 World Tournament. Um, it's a big deal. Um, you know, best players around the world, yada yada. But sometimes at these, like, they just call them Worlds for short, they might reveal information like Sheldon's Picks, which is literally some third kit weapons could be revealed, which that would be awesome because, hey, you know, it's sort of like coming up on mid-season here. It'd be really neat if they just like, oh, hey, by the way, poof. <laughs> or just well, like the, even the hitting for the next update. It's a little middle hill look on it, by the way. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. I, Nintendo doesn't really promote their championships, which is sad. They should. The community really carries that. Yeah. I will hopefully be doing a watch party for that. I don't Ooh, know if fun. it's allowed or not, but I'm, don't, I don't know, but I'm That'd be neat. Well. Um, I'll be doing that on the, I think it's on Saturday the 13th, or it's on the 12th. I don't know how early it's going to be, though, because it, it, uh, Worlds um, is in Japan this year. I believe it was in America for Splatoon 2 a long time ago, but... You get to see the best of the best play, and for those that are wondering what the North American team is, that's Jackpot. You've probably heard of them if you've watched Char video or something, but... Um, what about my pot? <laughs> oh my god, shut <laughs> it! Alright, <laughs> yeah. Let's go with them on in. Um, but yeah, they are... You know, that's what we're hoping anyway. There's also some... I'm not gonna, like, discuss what is in the game's code, but data miners have said that there's some interestingly new things that could be happening we don't know what they look like we don't know what they are they just there's files stating hey this is something that might happen question mark um and you know that's why people are getting excited people are getting hyped yeah because uh, oh if they reveal so anything like in tyson would be yeah, where, where does event to do it at right so exactly so it's not like we're getting a Splatoon 3 Direct themed anytime soon, so... Oh yeah, Splatoon 3 Direct dead in the water. They have not had one in forever. I wish they did. Mm, but... That would be sweet if they did. Like, oh yeah, by the way, two-year anniversary. Here's a Splatoon 3 Direct. That would be so cool. because of uh, the seasons, they don't have to do that anymore. They don't right. have to have special things. Which is sad, because I would like there to be things, but... Yeah, like, I mean, the season trailers are kind of dope. But like, oh, they are for sure. It's just, oh, hi, person. Oh, I got I surprisingly yeeted a uh, missile really far away and it sun and somehow got middle hill. I'll take that. <laughs> Nobody, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll never find my pot of gold. It is hidden. Hi, Hunter. Oh. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Different bunny. Uh, man. I don't know if, I forget if I asked you this question or not. But in a hypothetical scenario that we would get third kits, what is your dream? And you, we would get a vanilla Brella third kit. What is your dream, like, Brella third kit? 
Hmm. I really don't know because I kind of already have it. <laughs> True. Sorella is pretty good. Um, I'm in a weird situation where I'm very content on the play style that I want. Um, and yeah, I I don't know. I think I would go for for being realistic. You know, I feel like I can um I don't know. I might wanna have Ink Storm back or I would I would just want Killer Whale. I think Killer, Ooh, Killer Whale, Whale I think would work well. Umbrella. Yeah. I could see um, that. I just uh I just don't know what I would want. And honestly I don't know what Nintendo would even put on it. Well, let's say unrealistic goal, like just unrealistic. Even, I would yeah. be fizzy kraken like everyone else wants on every other weapon. Like, I mean, put fair. Umbrella, put fizzy bomb on a weapon on it. Um, I mean, I, I'm s close to that's close to my dream. Um, if I want a third roller, like a regular third roller, I want fizzy uh, triple splash down <laughs> because Splatoon two esque. Vanilla roller, I want. Give me. <laughs> also, yeah. hey, Flota, guess what? It's your favorite map in the world, Flounder Heights. <laughs> Literally, my least favorite maps. I don't have a lot of maps that I like despise because there's always like one mode that I'll be like, okay, I'll play on it. Right? But Hammerhead, Barnacle, and Flounder. The worst of the worst for real like i just cannot find it fun and that's why water tricolor surprised me man but <laughs> god this just map just sucks i never really enjoyed it that much in splatoon 1 because the movement was so stiff but in this game where the movements were really nice for this map they just did gutted it absolutely terrible It is pretty oh. nice, no. Um, okay, so um, that weird thing happened what? where um, I was just dragging Diego off Flounder Heights with me. <laughs> like, I had my oh, shield yeah, out of it. was drag Diego down to the ground with me. Since the mid season patches later, this uh, much, what, do you, what map do you think is going to be reworked? That's a good question. I shared this earlier subspace, um, but I have this theory, and it's been proven correct twice, so it just needs to be proven correct a third time, and then it's not a theory anymore. Um, where the challenge is, the, one of the new challenges always has featured the reworked map near the, uh, once the patch has come out, right? The challenge upcoming. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the curling challenge, which is not this week, but I think next week. And then we have the swim it to win a challenge on the 22nd, which indicates also the spring fest is the uh, 18th. Uh, I mean, on the 19th, I believe that's when it starts. Friday the 19th. Um, Sweet. Which means 420 is spring fest. Let's go. <laughs> oh, but, uh... Some yeah. creators might have a field day with that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pill monster, but, um, <laughs> you know. um, but yeah, uh, there's always been a challenge, uh, the, the challenge um, after the patch that has the rework map. You have the Reef Slider challenge with Maki, you had the Charger challenge with Mincemeat. Um, and I'm keeping a close eye on the challenges, so right now, I'm thinking Umami or Hammerhead. But the thing is, it's different this time because the swim it to win it challenge is obviously not new so i think mm -hmm. whatever one of the two maps in the next revealed challenge is going to be reworked really hope it's umami though um, probably not the case yeah i'm i'm guy. more so hoping for hammerhead because i think umami is at least like still yeah. good enough while hammerhead is like I would much rather play any other map right now. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, yeah. Want 
umami instantly, of course. I want people to like it more, but um, if I have to think about it, it's either right now umami hammerhead if the next challenge is not new either or you know it's gonna be whatever is in the next challenge also uh spook asked not eat like not even gobi arena is like as bad as flounder or like the they're um, asking yeah. you to compare and contrast versus your hatred towards flounder like your hatred towards gobi level. i think really level interesting like, i'm up to gobi a little bit more but, you know, if I'm thinking about what I thought about it back then, right? Right. I, it's just lockout heavy, and it's just... I don't know. I think Splatoon 2 and 3's maps have different problems, but they're both equally as bad. Yeah, I can like, see that. Splatoon 3, they just limit the routes. Splatoon 2, like... It's just some of the maps were, like... I think Gobi is linear. Flounder really isn't that linear, but it limits the routes, so it feels like that. Right, and Gobi that's... that's... Just kind of a, I didn't really yeah. like Gobi because of the stacks. The stacks were just, just bad positions to be in, and the mid was just open. Flounder, not the case, obviously. Flounder has the towers, you know, has the heights. Um, Just, uh, unfortunately, uh, go getting there is a little bit difficult. Right, Gobi, especially if you're locked out. And Gobi, it's like, yeah, I can get to mid, but I just can't cross it. It just feels like a stall, if that makes sense. Because it's snowman's land, not fun to play on. Exactly. So I, I, I yeah. just think they're on different levels. Now, if we're talking about Hammerhead Splatoon 3 and Barnacle Splatoon 3, yeah, those maps are way worse than Gobi. But <laughs> I, I don't know about Flounder. I think Flounder has potential. That's the thing. I just really wish they never really fucked it up. Yeah, for real. Like, Ugh. as somebody, who, like I said, I personally love S1 Flounder to death. Like, that is one of my favorite maps in the entire franchise. So that when they, like, brought it to Splatoon there, I was like, oh, yay, Flounder. And then I was like, what did what did they do to my, look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> what do they do? What do they do to poor Flounder? My beloved. That's actually, honestly, partially one of the reasons why I'm actually strangely happy they didn't bring back Black Belly is so that I hope they didn't, like, Splatoon 3-ify it. Because <laughs> I don't think Black Belly Splatoon 3-ified would work well at all. I just think... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Black Belly kind of fits in the mold of what a lot of Splatoon 1 maps fill in the mold of, of what Splatoon 3 wanted. It's right. just the fact that they double down on Flutter Heights, specifically. Like, there's more reasons to why Hammerhead changed. But right. they... What? Flounder and Museum... But Museum did not really get hit that bad. Um, but, and, um, you know... Mahi and Flounder were considering more elaborate maps to play, I guess. They had a lot more freedom, so that mm -hmm. feels a little restrictive. Black Belly, I don't know. I think Black Belly would have fit the mold okay. I don't yeah, think it I just... Much, to be honest. I could totally see them being like, oh, let's turn the skate park and remove the ramps on it. And it's like, that's what makes it a skate park. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Nintendo, what are you doing to my baby? <laughs> what about Salt Spray Rig? Salt Spray Rig was a bad map. Mm -hmm. Period. Like, it would have been, it's fun on Turf War, I'm sure. People always talk about it. But it's the only map in the series that has had Tower and Rainmaker banned, I think. I think Zones might have been banned too. Maybe yeah. Too. It was definitely Rainmaker because you could just put the Rainmaker really on the crane. Yeah. It was um, like, yeah. I think they just didn't put Salt Spray in the game because they just don't know how to fix it, and they don't care, and they don't want to do it. So. Wait, wait, what, Bork? Okay, apparently someone um, modded in Black Belly um, into into Splat Three, and the game crashes if you use the angle marker on the on the ramps in Black Belly. 
That's funny. Oh, wait, no, it's a joke. Okay, it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were being slash S. I didn't know you were kidding. But I could totally see that happening. Just like, oh, yeah, let's just bring back Black Belly. And then they do angle marker. And it just, like, completely, <laughs> completely does silly. <laughs> The reason why Salt Spray was so bad is because it has all the elements that makes a bad Splatoon map. Um, the routes were so linear. Like, even though there were multiple, they were all so linear and so not fun. Yeah. Um, they were all floor, not really um, too much wall. But you can say a lot for some of these maps here, but, you know, it, it, it wasn't a one-way street. It felt like there was an environment. There were things that you could have kind of climbed. Uh, you had elevators, I guess. It was mm -hmm. just... It wasn't accessible. Um, spawn was literally a helicopter pad. And it was a hallway. Um, and mid was raised up compared to your spawn. So what that meant was that if you were in mid, you can shoot down on people coming up. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I just bear witness to you, like, landing inside of Nuke there, Flota. I bear witness to you landing inside I, of Nick Strike. I couldn't do anything about it, so I'm not really phased. It happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, putting ramps like that in Splatoon 3 stages, like the air on a mall ramp in mid, or... Oh, yeah, actually, I saw it on, um... It was either Ash Binary or another data miner or something brought up that in the version 1.0 of Splatoon 3, the lobby's ramps were actually curved. Oh, yeah, um, I saw that. That was really interesting. Yeah, and the fact that they, like, removed the curve and made it, like, you know, flat was interesting because, like, the angle marker actually did some sillies in the lobby with the uh, curved ramp. Oh. Later, <laughs> oh, later, Hunter. Or 1.0 yeah, Splatoon 3 is a tree and a half to look through, right? I, I could imagine. I really want to get into data mining. I am, love analyzing code. I need to get yeah, myself into that. If you ever bring back Salt Spray Chat, I feel like they, they'll do a bluefin. They'll change it drastically, and I think it's for the best. Bluefin had lots of problems that I don't... If they just brought it back raw and not cooked, people would have hated it. Um... Mm -hmm. Because it's just like Salt Spray, the spawn was on one block, and it was a hallway outside of spawn. You had no defending positions at all. Um, and yeah, you could go to the both of the ways a lot easier than you do now, but you sacrificed that spawn. And mm -hmm. also the tower went over the water for some reason, so like, if you would want that back, you can place between one for another five Weak. days, and you won't have to... <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if they ever do bring it back, but I highly doubt, X to doubt, because they're going to bring one more map for the next season mm -hmm. just to fill up my recon <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they do that, but it's fine. It's I okay. hope if, they, if, if it is map, new. That's good. That's yeah. good, because why would you want to bring back Schellendorf or, like, Gobi Arena or something mm -hmm. bland? Like, I feel like... They brought back the good Splatoon 2 maps. The ones that are memorable. They brought back Mako, they brought back Humpback, they brought back Rahu, whether you like it or not, they're all pretty staple Splatoon 2 maps. Mm -hmm. And they brought back the Splatoon 1 staple maps. You had a museum, you had Fondy, you had Bluefin, um, and a Hammerhead, if you really want to be real. But, um, after Marlin, I mean, they add actual in-game mechanics. All right. Like, ever since... Crab Lake and Ship Shape came out. Like, yeah, they're not the best maps in the game, but, like, there's never going to be a perfect match, so it's just shut your pie hole, okay? No one cares. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, there's an obvious upgrade. I want to see where they can go. Even if it's not priceless. Marvel's we don't have a full lobby yet, right? No, we, no, we haven't. I'm yeah, swapping. I haven't I you should join us, guys. Yeah, you guys could join us still, and I'm actually two-starred my two things, so I'm actually... Switch up the stream slightly. It's still staying umbrella themed, but I'm doing recycled now. Um, because yeah, I want to work on two starring. I remember I used to love Salt Spray. Don't know why. 
I feel like like in Turf War, Salt Spray was good. Like it, Salt Spray is just oh, yeah. one of those stages that is quirky. Like Turf War doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's gonna... what. That's why we're doing it for just fun. Like we can mess around with weapons that we don't normally play. We're just here to hang out and just talk to you fellas and enjoy our Tuesday night. Um, that's one reason why I stream turf anyway, is because it do like it doesn't really matter. It's not stressful. And it's one of the few modes, few things where if you lose and it, it's just like yeah, all right, it's what it is. Like if you win, it's like okay, neat. And if you lose, all right, you just shrug your shoulders. You know, it's no stress, no no worrying about the loss here. Mm -hmm. So we're not showing up? Weird. That's weird. Are you guys in the, um... Are you guys refreshing at all, or...? Yeah. You guys in the flow check? We can try backing out here and doing a new drop-in after this game. We'll do, we'll do one more. We'll see. One more. We can't actually we'll send invites. That's the problem about this. Yeah, that's the only thing. But... I still like it because I like the idea of, oh, we conquer Turf War and the teams are randomized. Then you don't know if we're going to be on the same team or not. It's an element element of surprise. Okay, okay wow. This this Flota, this Recycled feels really good right now. I don't know what's happening with me. Why are you me. playing Recycled? Did you already two-star order? Yeah, I, order, I two-starred order and vanilla. Wow. Well, um... <laughs> I am now part of the recycled group. Oh, ow. Okay. Hi, Tana. No, you'll, you'll slowly realize recycled rel is not as it ought to be. I hope you know. Just spoiler warning. Okay. I do like the 90 damage, though, if it directs. It is really nice to damage people, but everything. Your shield is just so bad. very passive tonight in my gameplay. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh god, that yeah, that edit's tearing through my shield. Holy okay. Yeah. You have when it's not deployed, it's literally just a life. Ba -da, ba -da. Oh, so much. I'm, playing Brella. I'm determined to keep playing Brella to the end, but man, <laughs> Flounder is just so bad for Brella. Like, unless you're a tent, I guess you're fine, but... I mean, you can swap to tent if you want, as long as... We'll, we'll change it up a little bit. We'll just say Brella edition, so you can use no, any... No, no. I'll keep playing. Okay. I think there's a possibility that Urchin Sultry could return. Possibly. I just I don't mean... know. Yeah, I don't know either. I. It depends on if we get a content extension that includes maps or not, because I could totally just see. Oh, next season, the final season, we're just gonna get one more like new map, and that'll be it. Because I think I did the, I did the calculations. Um, let me pull this up actually. What for the weapon I'm... kits? Because yeah, everything would get a second one. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, everything would get a second one, and I. I made a thread actually. Oh, people can are joining now. Okay, that's something. Um. Yeah, I made a small. Oh, there we go. Here's oh, and then someone left. Oh. We had a full one, and then someone. Someone dipped. Okay. Yeah, I did calculate it. Comparing Splatoon two to Splatoon three. As of right now, uh, or at the end of Splatoon 2, right, once the updates were done, there were a total of 14 brand new stages. Whereas of right now, um, we have 12 brand new stages in Splatoon 3. So adding one more brand new stage would kind of make sense to end on. Um, that would make 13 brand new stages. Um, yeah, that, that would make some sense. This is also looking eight new subclasses for returning classes. We at currently have nine new subclasses for returning classes. Um, so there are some things that are like 
on par with the new content that we got back in Splat 2 versus what we have in Splat 3. It's interesting to think about and like look over the data. ramen please i don't want to be here anymore <laughs> like <sighs> i know Poor people like this map but i just i don't i think it's okay in this <sighs> game it's okay it's it's mid for me um i just don't do it i just don't enjoy it on turf war specifically I'm a my bad sorry. <laughs> my bad no it's not your fault it's Nintendo's fault for including it in this time slot right now. <laughs> I mean, at least we got Umami at the beginning, at the very least. We did. We had Haggle and Umami, which a lot of people like Haggle, so I appreciate that they put it there. Haggle's probably a solid B tier for me. I think it's pretty. It's pretty up. It's up there. It's better than average. I think it's better than mid. Really Finally, fast. someone agrees with me. I'm so happy. Someone actually does want uh, Black Belly to come back <laughs> in my chat. Mm. Thank you, Ultra. Appreciate you. <laughs> my fellow skate park enthusiasts. Look, everyone has their niche in what they like. I'm just a, I just like the silly little ninja squid with the skateboarding ramps with my roller. It's fun. I mean, walleye, if they do bring back walleye, Actually, I have a different theory. I don't think it's going to come back in this game, but I could totally see. Um, I think anyway. Hold on. Let me fact check this really quick in my head. Urchin, salt spray, arowana, black belly, and salt spray. Yeah. As of right now, in Splatoon 3, if this keeps up this trend, um, the five original Splatoon 1 maps are not in Splatoon 3. So, I feel like if they don't make it to Splatoon 3, they'll make it to Splatoon 4. That's just a little theory of mine. Because there are five original maps. The ones that came out on May 28th of 2015 was Black Belly, Urchin Underpass, Salt Spray Rig, Walleye Warehouse, and Arowana Mall. Those were the original five. So, I could see them coming back in Splat 4 if they want to be silly. You good over there, Flo? Yeah, I'm just chilling. I just didn't. <laughs> You're just vibing. <laughs> I, I hate Flounder Man. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> let's let's pray for the year ramen. We gotta get that ramen. Just ramen. Don't worry, we got like twenty minute, twenty more minutes than than this what? than it. Yeah. I wanna go now. <laughs> oh shit! Were we supposed to continue or not? I forgot. No. Keep going. Okay, yeah, yeah, because we got one, two, three, four. Now. Yeah, we're rotating after this one. We're rotating after this one. Yeah, don't worry. Um, shoot, you told us how to pronounce it. Uh, don't I? I don't. Add, add, like add? advertisement. Oh, add. nine. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't. I. Okay, I'm learning things. It's so funny because no one can say Chikojin. I know. I always find that the most funny irony is like in the world is like no one can know how to pronounce my name and I don't know how to pronounce anyone else's. <laughs> Seems like flounder. Jesus oh. Christ. Uh oh, I hey, there's a robin. Flounder Heights. I'll vibe and robin. Heck yeah. All day, every day. 
Oh yeah, scorch scorch zones. Yeah, is awful. Stop. I agree with Don't that. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> oh my god! Anytime I want to play open, I scorch see the of this. But it's like scorch scorch zones appears in open rotation, like at night. I want to play. I want to play. You know, sometimes I'm like, I want to see what the rotations are. Can I play them with friends? You know, <laughs> and. And then they view at me, like, Scorch Gorge Zones views at me, and it's like, bye-bye, <laughs> like, nope, you're not playing this shit. And I'm like, ugh. I forget, um... I, 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 double I, I, zones map, dude. What, like, it's literally Black Belly. And Black Belly had double zones. Exactly! <laughs> like, um, hello! Please be double zones, and also Eel Chill Zones. That a zone lot of people... Bigger than my ass. <laughs> they view at me? Question mark? Uh, I've, I've put a mewing uh, gif. <laughs> Wait till you. Oh, no. Uh, but, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I agree. It's just like, I saw someone, it's like that t tweet of, I think it's like get off the white, um, like in front of like a crystal ball, and it's like Nintendo's su uh, summoning the worst rotations for Anarchy Open when I get the motivation to play. It's oh Scorch Zones. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't I, um, I'm honestly, you can just call me Jack, but, um, to pronounce it technically correct, or the way, it's just, you slap the words Jack and Ojin together really quickly, so you don't even, like, enunciate the Jack sometimes, so you just say, like, J, so you're like, Jacojin. um, but most people can just, just call me Jack. Um, or Ochin, or Ochi. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> then you're good. I'm no longer mewing, I'm meowing, huh? <laughs> what is- huh? J. Like J-A, J. Jacko. Jacojin. Jacotion? Jaco... It's not like an S sound. It's like Jaco... Gin. Like, uh, gin and tonic. You know the word... You know, like, alcoholic beverage, gin and tonic? That's, like, how you end it. It's, like, with the gin. So, ja... Co... Like, company, co... Gin. Jacotion. Greetings, everyone. Jacotion here. <laughs> I love doing that. I'm such a dork. I'm such a dork, but it's fine. Wait, what did Morgan do? Why do you say like Morgan Y like that? I don't know. <laughs> English pronunciation, silly it is. Because really, Jacogan is like the um. Actually, it's like Yakogan because like Jack is like Yak ish, or Yas Yask. I think it's actually pronounced like Yask in Polish. It's very, it's like Yaskogan. We're backing out right, this stop. time. Yeah. Like, language is an interesting thing. <laughs> you see, we're learning stuff here, indeed. I'm teaching you Polish. Welcome to Polish 101. I'm your teacher, Professor Ogan. Uh,. I don't know much Polish words, I'll be real. <laughs> Never mind. Damn, Morgan, <laughs> Morgan with 18 kills in turf war. <laughs> Morgan popping off. It's bullshit German. Well, I mean, it's Slavic and German is like semi-similar. It's like that whole like region of Europe can speak, but the languages kind of intermesh sometimes between like different places like Germany, like between like German and Polish and like Russian. 
and some 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 dialects you know they like intertwine a bit it's interesting language is a neato thing also tell you guys a secret i'm actually very small a very small percentage i i am i am british it's only seven percent, but it's I am British. Ban him! By... <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Just run ass out of here. No, 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 I threw tea in the harbor. I'm good. I'm good. I throw tea in the harbor. <laughs> I swear. The only tea I drink is Snapple, and I'm pretty sure that's an American company. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> British? I heard British murder. Uh oh, I'm in trouble with your chat. The Jack Slater's gonna go hard. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, that's a reslider. <laughs> Laddie? I don't even think this. That's like a. That's like Scottish or something saying a laddie. It's not even like British. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Wow, the two gamers are gaming together, I see. Yo, Epi, I swear to God, it's nice to see you. Why are you not asleep? It's so late over there. It's funny that we're talking about me being partially British and then Epi shows up as an Irish man. <laughs> that is interesting. Interesting timing on that one. <laughs> oh boy oh no all right yeah i'm so i'm um, man i'm dead i'm in the underpass i'm dead yeah epi summoned in flows chat all right photo don't worry we're getting ramen now see you happy <laughs> well wait till i get in no, Wait, did you not get in? Wait, are you not in here? I'm getting in here now. Okay. I was confused. I was like, huh? Can Epi see this chat? I have no idea. Is I it time him out for not sleeping. Slash J. Oh, Cindy, you've been lurking. Nice to see you, Holmes. Flounder Heights. <laughs> <laughs> BRB checking Jack's chat. Hey, what up, Epps? Epps gonna parkour. Yippee! Let's see if we get flounder chat. Place your bets. Flounder ramen. <laughs> Doc, indeed, I have been lurking. Well, glad to see you lurking. I'm glad you enjoy, or hopefully enjoy Turf War and Vibes. I love doing these. They're fun. Although, with the Flota and guests, sometimes it's just more like Turf War and I chuckle a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Epi's got a red You can't time Epi out. That's right. <laughs> For real, Epi. For real, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mission failed. <laughs> we'll get him next time. All right. Flow to heights. <laughs> <sighs> Turf and cry instead of turf and vibe right now. <laughs> turf, and, turf war and crying myself to sleep. I've already not been doing too good with Bell right now. I think I'm a little burnt. I might have to take a break after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I was thinking we would like end, wrap up stream here at the end yeah, of rotation. I think I'm getting a little burnt on the turf war. That's why I can't play it. It's just good. <laughs> it, it's good. Like, I usually do these for like three hours maximum, anyhow. Yeah. So. 
I, I just, just like play for more for very long without an incentive. My incentive right now, playing with friends. So I'm very through with it right now. <laughs> Fair enough. I do not blame you. But it's nice to know that you've been able to get to two stars umbrella really easily, actually. Heck yeah, I got my two star. So that's really good. And I got a good head start on the recycled here as well now. So, so I swear some of these people were in the last lobby, but. I mean, it's kind of near the end of stream and people weren't joining, yeah. so I think that's fine. It is a school night, so most a lot of fellows are probably going to bed or just deciding to lurk. Not as many people yeah, to actually participate. Are you on Tuesday? So that would check out, honestly. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Welcome to the check special of streaming on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Wahaha. I'm popping off with ink chat. Reviving. So lucky you, Ping Lamine, you're on spring break, I... I'm not What's a spring break? Oh, right, that was three weeks ago. You had those so early. That's yeah. Insane. My college is very early with it. Oh, I'm on an ink. Ugh. I didn't have anything going on today, so I guess it feels like a continuation of my spring break, so... so it's yeah. more like, it's an extension. Very, <laughs> I'm very happy about that. It's okay to grind. We're on that turfy grind set. I know. I know! I just like turf work is like then it's like it's good for just getting my like three star goal of every weapon because I turn off my brain, go on autopilot, have fun, ramble about whatever. Sometimes even just I might whip out the old Jacosian motivational speaks sometimes during streams. I don't know. I just talk about whatever. <laughs> my brain just unloads. Brella Jewel. Battle of the Brella. I'm missing because I'm doing so bad. Oh my god, Dev. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Epi, I am, I'm sorry. I mod everyone I like collab with usually, but it's why you couldn't get timed out. So, like, if I could, I mean, oh, I mean, I could, but like another mod couldn't. There we go, Epi. I'll time you out for like, <laughs> I'll time you out for ten <laughs> seconds. <laughs> there you go. That's what you want, right? <laughs> Oh, man. Time me out for 24... No. No, yeah, you're right. I won't do that because you don't give me a reason to. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Cindy, I don't think I could give you the power to do it unless I like unmod it. I mean, I could temporarily unmod Epi. <laughs> I could do that. I mean, he'll be back in a minute anyway. There you go. Why are we bully? Why is it bully Epi hour? What? <laughs> I don't know. Jack, I swear to God. Yeah, D DMs? Okay, oh god, what's up? <laughs> you mean to send you pussy in DMs? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's the best DM I've ever opened on stream. Opens DM. <laughs> oh, fun. There you go. Now Cindy was able to time out. <laughs> you got what you wanted, buddy. <laughs> Epi, I swear to God.
Uh, let's go. <laughs> You know, with as much sure for we've been playing, I'm surprised we didn't get a multiplier battle. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh... Oh, I don't know if. Oh shoot, I should send you this before. Or I don't know if it's um, it's still free or not. Or how long it's free for, but um, Fry showed me this game called a Content Warning, um, I and it's really silly. Something about that, yeah. I don't know if it's still free, or, or if it was just free for April Fools. I'll, I'll have to double check. If it is, I'll like gift it to you on Steam after this. I need to check my Steam account because I know Koi bought Overcooked. I don't know what right. version of Overcooked. I think it has Koi. to be Overcooked too because that's a multiplayer one. I know there's I all you can eat. I have that one. Oh, okay. Where it's all one and two, and all oh. DLC. Yeah. Then you should be um, ready to cook. It, that, it only collaborates with that game, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I didn't think Koi would gift me Overcooked, but I it mean... depends on which one. Because if it's just Overcooked one or two, I mean that's fine. I didn't pay for it. So I'll accept it. But if it yeah. Was over, I'd be like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I got you. Koi is remind me to Koi like has... slap Koi, Koi like, uh... platonically. I don't know. Remi Koi is just a, a sugar daddy variant of of the Wait. Steam library, like yes, getting stuff out. And, and he's been summoned. He's in my chat now. Oh, no. Oh, did he hear what I said? Oh boy. Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> he said what now? <laughs> you heard me right, Koi. <laughs> Sugar Daddy right. Steam Library. <laughs> oh, but I'm serious. Like, he's the one that gifted, what, us Lethal Company or something? Or yeah, he gifted else? Lethal Company, Overcooked. He, he just gifted me Hell Divers. He, he Wait, just what next? To... Buy me a house now, Koi. Buy me a house. Wait, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. I plead the fifth. The fifth. fifth. <laughs> uh... Look, since it's only like two minutes till rotation, I'd say we just had to continue here. Yeah. Uh, so this is the final game here. And uh, yeah, Koi, we appreciate you immensely, but my gosh, why are you just gifting us so much stuff like i swear to god remind me to like i think i might be going to um too many games this year remind me to tackle koi <laughs> and nicely of course i'm not gonna actually like hurt him but like i'm I need going to, to tackle him, this man <laughs> i need to be in a vc and i need to see that live <laughs> bet mm -hmm. <laughs> time for flounder part three yeah, I haven't been talking too much because of Flounder, really, <laughs> if being honest. Flounder. I'm also just doing really bad in these games. I'm not really showcasing how good Brella is right now, but it's okay. We have yeah. our flop arrows. I said that last night. Hashtag flop arrow. Uh... <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey, there we go. You got your ramen know, for the finale. Yeah. All right. I've also been playing a lot of Splatoon today. I played a lot of Salmon. Got the 600 EVP. Well, the flop era. <laughs> I mean, it's this a is... miracle. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, it's it's probably my fault. You know, I'm kind of rubbing off on uh, Flota here. My like lack of skill. We call that the Jack curse. You know, hang out with me. I steal your brain well, cells. I just, I just don't normally play Brella and Turf, so it's a little different. And admittedly, not in good as turf as it is in rain. So right. I just have to adjust. And that's the thing that, you know, I'm here to have fun, though. I don't care about yeah. the winning or the losing. I'm just here to vibe. Heck yeah. That's just... why we're here. It's just sometimes it does kind of hurt when you are not 
winning. <laughs> oh yeah. Of course, but but this this I mean, is the I Jack special. I remind myself it's turf war, then I'm not depressed anymore. So exactly, it's, welcome to the Jack mentality of we're here just to be the silly yeah. and hang out for a couple hours and yeah. you know like hey look at that we get some extra experience and money and freshness level yippee uh hold, well, my music stopped what fellas my music the playlist fella. has gone out there we go no uh, i had more songs it just sometimes a song will glitch and just pause there we go we got the furt walk. Let's go. If Epi mod again, he will he bypass the timeout? I have no idea actually how that works. Every time I lose on flounder, an angel loses its wings. Dang, Sophie, but that's so real though. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I think I can't eat me. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's one reason why I do these streams, homes. Help you relax after a long day, long. I'm definitely no. not relaxing. I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> <laughs> why are they called the restroom? I'm fighting about. for my life in here. Damn right. <laughs> no, I'm just really tired today. I did not get good night's sleep. Like even though I got my eight hours, definitely was not eight hours of deep sleep. <laughs> uh, fair. I'm a light I'm sleeper, so like, you know, if I I could sleep for eight hours, but if I just can't, um, you know. Yeah, I understand. Just like if I'm sometimes I just don't get that deep sleep. Sometimes it's the weather, sometimes it's, you know. Yeah, I guess you. Why well, can't I hit anything? I don't know, nobody. It do be like that sometimes. You don't think it do, but it do be like that. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the Turf War and Vibe. Thank you very much, Flo, for joining me. That's fine. Tuesday, like night, evening time zone for people. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you all had a fantastic time. Um, and yeah, hopefully you were able to just relax, hang out, do the sillies. Uh, hopefully, if you had any goals yourself, you reached them. I know I reached my silly little goal of two-starring both Order Brella and V Brella. So now those are checked off my list, and I'm over halfway done with the um, with the recycled Brella now as well. So. Oh wow! Really? Yep. So. That's great. I'm I'm getting there. Slowly yet surely, I'm going to be three-starring every weapon in this video game. Um, it just brellas are definitely something I need to work on because so far the only three stars I got are the undercovers and Sorella. Um, but we'll get there. So glad you were um, able to have fun with. Yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it on f your end, Flota and Flota, Flota fam. Um, I guess what we could do is I don't know if anyone else streams on a Tuesday night, but I mean I guess we could check. Um, and see. That way we could do potentially funny, silly raid. Ooh, um, I think that'll be a good idea. It's pretty early. For me, anyway. Uh. Um, <laughs> I'm looking here. Let me look to. Oh, that's a cool person named Flota4866. Just lie. <laughs> Um, uh, but for real, I do see, um, Mr. Squiff is playing spot one. They only have two viewers, so that could be Ooh, potentially beneficial. Here we go. I'm yoinking it into your DM. Uh, not used to the big shot profile picture. 
I don't know what to put as my Discord BFP. I really don't. <laughs> like, I wanted to do have it where viewers would suggest what my PFP is, but I know that's a really bad idea, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my PFP is going to be. I, when I do a joke or a gimmick thing, I was like, it, when I switch drastically like that, it's just. Ugh, I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. Well, I guess we could just send the good vibes over to them because they don't have too many fellows, and it's always nice to support people who don't really have many folks watching them. So y'all can hang out with them and hopefully have a good rest of your night if you guys are gonna get to be stay up and support another another silly Splatuber Splatoon creator. So I guess we'll head over there. Um, any final words, Flota? Uh, I don't know. I'm just tired, man. I'm <laughs> just in my chair right now. Man, I'm oh, dead. Oh, no. <laughs> man, I'm dead. No, I had a lot of fun, though. So thank you for inviting me. And it was fun seeing a lot of people play Bro. It was very chaotic. I'm not used to it. But uh, it was a whole lot of fun. Um, yeah, the only thing else I could say is um, you should watch uh cool real salmon run players play with noob duh 4866 Trying for to get real so, okay yeah, you guys go watch that with floda um i guess if you like yeah go like and sub to floda because floda's peak um if you haven't Your already peak, subscribe to jack no false information but thank you um where's coin epi when you need him right yeah it's who knows, but yeah. this is going to be back. us signing out. Peace, love, and good vibes, everyone. See you all in the raid. Bye-bye.